All right, looks like we're live. So today is uh, going to be a part two of our last tutorial stream, where we're continuing with this playthrough. If you haven't watched the first uh, part and you're just here for how to invade the Soviets, that's fine. You don't need to know. If you've got context on how to do basic setup, get yourself an army. That was all in the last video, um, but there will be some tips here uh, for pretty much anyone looking for tips on how to invade the Soviet Union without any DLC. All right. So like I said, uh, this is part two. Uh, on the last stream, we invaded the UK and took them out and got ourselves to the peace deal point. I'd saved just before that, just to show you guys maybe a little bit more of a historical playthrough and what to do um, dealing with the, the allies. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take out Norway in this game and then we're gonna have about a year to prep uh, for the Soviets. And then, yeah, we'll do a little Operation Barbarossa. So let's get into it. <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look at uh, the state. So like I said, we did have a little invasion set up here. Um, just to recap, we damaged their navy uh, in port or in, in the sea zones. And uh, we were able to get supremacy very briefly and get across the, the channel. But we're not going to be doing that this time. We're going to be relying on our garrisons uh, to hold our line. We're going to keep a couple tanks in reserve just in case. But everything else is going to be going to the east. So let's do that now. So this 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 here is our the coastal defense. Make sure they're recovering the the entirety of the coast. Um, so you'll see here we're automatically going to ports and then along the coastline. We may need to put a little bit more in terms of units, uh, just in case they start naval invading. Um, look down here. We may have to deal with Italy when they come into the war. Uh, there's also Greece and Yugoslavia. It would be nice if the the Italian AI would do that, but they might not. So we may have to divert some units and bring them down here at some point. Uh, but that's fine. It's not going to be our priority. Uh, I'm going to take a look up here. So we've got Norway invasion to do. Um, as we get up here, we're going to have struggle with supply because there's a few spots here in the mountains where they can kind of hold. We may need to naval invade behind them, but if we can rush around and get them out, um, sort of beat them up to Trondheim here. Uh, we might be able to just push up the coast and they'll capitulate. All right, so I'm gonna start pulling armies off, completing their orders, go back to F1 mode. Uh, let's go here. And we're gonna do control and, sorry, shift and the full line. Bring our tanks down. Oh, right, of course, we do have some tanks going across the water. We actually didn't get raided last time, but this is a very dangerous thing to do. Uh, I might actually halt them and see if I can get them to, yeah. Try to get them to just come into Denmark here and stay on the land. Um, I'm gonna pull these guys over here. Another thing we, we we're trying to do is we we're trying to build up our, our tank stockpile. So with a, a larger tank stockpile, we can make better tanks. We did have pretty good stats on these, but they're pretty much mostly motorized. So we're going to be going up on that. We're going to be adding that SVAA that we built last time um, and trying to get more tanks into our divisions. So we have just really, really good stats. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll come back to production in, in a minute while we're, we're moving our units over. Bring you... You're up in Norway. You're trying to do a naval invasion. These guys are waiting. So without even doing too much, we've already got a solid uh, a 72 units, infantry units ready for us. And uh, our seven tanks, which we're gonna try to get more. Um, okay, so those guys should be moving over to this line here. Make sure they're added. So this, this army here wasn't actually added. Um, I merged the, the divisions we had in reserves that I pulled off and, the, and with the naval invasion one. 
I then click this and then hold, holding down control, I assign that to the field marshal line, the, the skinny line, and they should start moving now. Hopefully I don't forget to explain everything I'm doing. <laughs> um, yeah. Again, we're gonna still have some problems with supply because we, we in the current version right now, we don't have the ability to block, but if you do have this, this is very good to use. Okay. All right, so now that we've we've got our guys going on an order, let's deal with the top here. All right, it's saying that we don't have uh, any template with SVA. Uh, we are going to be adding that manually later, so I can ignore that. We have some air wings that don't have orders, and it looks like this one here doesn't have an order. It seems that's fine. Maybe we can add them to this these fellows, or here might be the better option. So we'll move them to Antwerp and then assign them to an order. Naval, uh, naval battles, we are doing a little bit of convoy raiding and it's quite successful. So we may, may start building some more um, submarines, something I could have done a little bit earlier. We have 1400 convoys, so I don't actually need that many convoys. So when I get to production, we'll fix that there. Uh, decisions, we can do some training, it looks like. I'm actually just gonna turn this off just because we don't really need to do any foreign influence at the moment. Um, in terms of our decisions, this is all looking pretty good. Um, a big thing we want to keep an eye out for is uh, our war support. So enemy bombing, we've got negative five. Uh, that's because they were bombing us uh, previously. They I think they probably still are hitting us in some spots. We'll need to keep a look at that. And of course we did have some combat casualties. Not a lot. Not a lot. Uh, we've lost 50,000, but any ca casualties you have, um, obviously that affects your war score. Uh, yeah, in fact, we've done quite a bit of damage to them. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's not too bad. A, a ratio of six to one. We've done most of the fighting. Uh, Vichy has done a little bit, but like the numbers are basically a rounding error, with the exception of the UK. They've done quite a few casualties to the UK. Huh. Um, I didn't actually want to invite Vichy into the war. I think if you, I don't know which, um, DLC it is, but if you have the DLCs, Vichy doesn't join the war, uh, at least not by default. You have to, you have to do some stuff to bring them in. Okay. So ignoring the decisions, we are at war. Uh, AI has not changed in terms of difficulty. Um, I really don't think so. If they've, if they've changed the AI in the last update, I haven't noticed a difference. All right, continuing on here. I can pick a chief and navy, but I'm not going to do that right now. Low manpower. I think we've gone up. Yeah, we can go up to extensive. That might be our next PP pick. Uh, just so that we have more manpower, because I do want to recruit a little bit more. We can sign this non-aggression pact with Finland. That sounds fine. And I'm not going to let Italy join the war just yet. I would prefer them just not to be in the war. Um, but, yeah. And it does look like Vichy is getting their casual or their their combat down here. Um, yeah, Italy will eventually join the war, but we'll see how that does. We'll probably have to save them. Okay, and it looks like we are doing, and uh, to align. Uh, sorry, we're doing this focus here for our infrastructure. We don't actually need the speed, but the, uh, we can align them here. Um. And we couldn't can re reintegrate Elsass right now, actually, which would give us a core on this, which is good, good, uh, uh, good for extra manpower. I think at, at this point, it does seem they 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 haven't switched over their ideologies, so they will be switching soon. But yeah, I will do those focuses to align them, just uh, so we have that. Okay, all right. So I did say we were going to talk about production, so we were overbuilding trains. Um, it's just something we needed at the beginning of the war last time because we didn't build any. So I think uh, two or three would probably be very good. In terms of our art artillery, uh, we're looking pretty good. I'll leave it at, I'll leave it at, uh, I think we can actually just go up on our tanks. So I'm going to bring these tanks up. Go there. Uh, we are, uh, 75 is a good number for planes, but most of our fighting with the planes are going to be with the allies. So I'll keep it at 75 at the moment while we adjust these things here. Yeah. 
Uh, thank you. Yeah, so La Resistance changes how Vichy works. Thank you, Marin and chat. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I could do, uh, I mean, there are a lot of, uh, the reason why I'm doing this one without DLCs is because there's a lot more full tutorials with all the DLCs. Um, and very, very few people will play the game um, with the current uh, version, but with no DLCs. So that's what we're doing here today. Um, okay, nine on guns to, so it's looking like we're actually losing, we're not actually fulfilling these. I did want to build mech, which we do have. Uh, I was hoping to keep some efficiency there, but yeah, okay. One on cast, we have a little bit of cast built up. It's nice to have this in addition to our planes. So clearly we've just stacked a lot of our, our factories on the plane. So I'll, I'll, I will go down to 50. So I'm holding shift to go down by 10, by five. Just a nice little number here. We're getting six a day. That's pretty efficient. Um, okay. One a day, we will have to rebuild this efficiency. And yeah, so 11 a day for our, our, our tanks. So one thing I need to do is our ratio between SBA and, and medium tanks, I'm going to need to know. I don't actually have the XP to do this at the moment, I don't think. Let's see here. Okay. So I think ideally we're going to want this in terms of our stats. So see how much this cost at first? Split battalion. So this is ideally what I would like to build. So we're just going to do some quick numbers and it's actually very easy. It looks like we need 11 to one. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the numbers of uh, equipment cost with the template that we're going to have. So medium takes will need 550 per, which is 300 more than our current uh, requirements. Um, and medium SBA is 11. Okay, so we can actually do this. So we need to bring this up to, so this is 11 per day. Uh, this will actually be pretty close to one per week. Maybe if we add two more factories. Yeah, it's going to be hard to tell because the efficiency is not actually the same at the moment. So this one's going to be doing 50%. This one here is going to be doing 36. So when these get up, um, we want them sort of around the same uh, production per day. So, um, yeah. And we do need 50 per division. So we're actually going to need to build a little bit over first to catch up and then do that. Okay. And so kind of our biggest issue right now is going to be the tungsten. If we'll... Yeah, uh, why is Vichy brown? It, this is what it looks like without law resistance. Okay. All right, so that looks kind of good for now. Um, I'll fix our trade issue. We're going to click up here, bring up our trade screen. Uh, Portugal doesn't require convoys. Again, um, if we don't have uh, the ability to trade overseas, let's try not to. In fact, I hope this doesn't. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're actually raiding. That's good, that's good. I thought this was a, a convoy. Okay, so that, that should fix it there. I think we can actually unpause now. So I can ignore that, ignore that, because, well, we're gonna fix that in a second. It'll... I hope they're actually not invading uh, Switzerland. They are. Okay. Um, just in case we have to deal with that, I'm going to queue up those Mountaineers. Um, Switzerland is not fun to invade. I really hope that the AI doesn't do that. I, I was I was assuming that they would attack Yugoslavia and Greece because uh, they usually do that. But we'll we'll see how that this comes out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, last time I did realize we didn't actually check how how the division uh, the template sizes uh, mattered. So yeah, it doesn't look like I'm actually overstacking too much. 
So we'll, I'll keep an eye out on the battles, but we did have a, a difference in combat width. So we're doing seven twos for the twenties because twenties might be back in favor. But I also have some thoughts that 15 might be the way to go. The problem is if, if your units are smaller, they have lower HP and they have lower organization, obviously. So um, sometimes you get a little bit of a penalty at, at 20, but with the better stats, it might actually be worth it. It's kind of uh, still up 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 in the air for, for debating. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to about two speed. We'll see how fast this is. Just wanna micro these units. Sort of get them up all along the front. Going this way. Perfect. It looks like we will get the... Oh, they are retreating into that tile. That's fine. And I'm doing... Uh, while we're doing this, we're doing a uh, battle plan. So you can see that they are kind of doing their own thing as well. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Okay, we're going down this way. Perfect. All right. Convoys need to... I'm not entirely sure why we're not at 100% here. We have stockpiles for everything? Okay. <laughs> yeah. 10-0 uh, or... I mean, five zeros are very good. Looks like uh, Vichy is getting invaded. I'm actually going to let them kind of do their thing in the med. Go up by five, by two. As we get new factories, we're going to need to assign that. All right, so we've got 150 political power. I did say our next pick was going to be extensive. Um, oh, and of course, we were going to do, fix our, our sub situation. So I'm going to go here. We're just going to grab our sub twos. With, uh, without the, the DLC, um, you probably just want to increase uh, stealth. Stealth is probably your best option here. In fact, that's quite good, negative six. Um, I don't have any uh, naval XP right now, but I may increase the stealth on uh, submarines for my next research. In fact, it might be worth, when we get uh, these up here, it might be worth getting sub threes. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the, the Navy stats. Um, for submarines, you want uh, visibility is the, the key for your whether or not you lose them. Um, the the threes and the fours are quite good. So this one here is 25 visibility. This one here is 15. And then the next one is uh, only 10. So that's the biggest thing you want. The, the detection, torpedo chance, uh, torpedo, torpedo attack, all these things are, are good. Um, but yeah. And I, I would kind of stick to the building sub threes because uh, the resource requirements. So um, these ones only require iron. And then these ones require iron and chromium. So what I would do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to research the, the third one. We're going to be building re, uh, sub threes, and then I'm going to decrease or increase the stealth. So yeah, yeah, with or without the designer, for sure, uh, sub threes are very good. Uh, if you do have the designer, you want to add the snorkels to them, but if you don't, don't worry, don't worry about that. Okay. We're just going to continue on with our Norway invasion. Uh, most of their army is caught right here. So this should be, in theory, a mere matter of marching. We've pocketed most of the Norwegians. If, In fact, we may have too many people up here, but there are too many divisions. Okay, so this is going to be the last port there. There was a supply hub we just captured. But hopefully we can just race straight up. Yeah. Okay, well, saying that we have not enough for garrisons. Last time we did sw switch to a gar garrison division. And our occupied templates are... Oh, they're not quite all the, the garrison templates. So what we want to do is we, just to show you this again, just pure cav is the best. And then you can add MP to this to increase the, the value, uh, the suppression value of this. So you can use fewer equipment. If you do add MP, you want to just, uh, when, you, when you've got extra XP, uh, XP to spare, you can add more cav to it up to 50 width. 
to save more equipment. Okay, so we're going to go back to Occupied Territories. We're going to set all of them to garrisons. So it was Czechoslovakia that didn't have it. And then uh, the garrison requirement should end here in a second. Yeah. All right, so we do need a little bit of artillery. I think we will switch back to the 15 wits. Nope, nope, that was our, our garrison requirements. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is a new event because of the Sweden stuff. So I think, yeah, I think that might've been good. We, we, we were asking for their, uh, for access to their telegraphs and stuff. Yeah. Okay, and we are taking out quite a few of their subs in that, it's not too bad. We're losing a few planes, but I think we're okay. Uh, at this point, we're, we've got supremacy and we should uh, address our bombing. Let's move a couple of you over. Let's see if we can catch more of these. Oh, that's actually Cass. Don't do that. They did, they'd like to hit Western Germany for some reason. Just because it's just kind of in range. And if we look into our construction queue, we are... These will normally um, automatically repair, even if you are building stuff. Um, yeah. I, I like to push them up to the top. All right, okay. They want to send land lease. They don't need to. Norway wants to send... Oh, right, so we do have a puppet already? Or sorry, that was that was Belgium. I get confused with the name sometimes, so I'm just not gonna look. I'm not gonna take anything from them. Um, okay, we have that research slot open. Let's grab sub three. Okay, and I suppose I, I I got distracted there when I was talking about the subs. Um, we actually didn't put them into production, so let's go down here. Add another one. Let's do this. I'll just keep one on. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we've got now 14 dockyards building subs. Um, a good thing I can do is we actually have um, them in the field right now. So the, the U-boats, right? And we got Donuts. So what I can do in this production screen here is you go and you look and I can actually add them directly to certain task force. So we'll say we add one to that one, add one to this one. So they'll go automatically go and join them. Uh, and then it's just one last thing that I have to micro and think about later. Uh, we have the option to upgrade some of our units now. So screen presentation might be pretty good. Um, when they start, they don't really escort themselves too much in AI or with the AI. So yeah, either one of these are good to upgrade. I'm gonna grab this one and then get this one. This one. Oh, sorry. Uh, cooldown is uh, between these two. Cooldown is the better one. This actually lets you fire uh, like twenty-five or not twenty-five percent, uh, a third more torpedoes. The, the way the math works. It, it yeah. So loading master is actually way better than this one. Um, but yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna continue here. Clicking, we're seeing some Canadian convoys getting raided there. Yeah, we can pin these a cage. Oh. Yeah, so I think I think 35 will be the meta. So we're gonna do 35s, but yeah. Oops. Uh, and we do have air. Yes. I think, does our cast reach? Cast doesn't quite reach. So, sorry, those are transport. Ba, 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 ba. Five, that should be fine. I'm not building new tactic bombers, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Bubba, so we are building SB, uh, SBA. Yeah, 34 is gonna be an awful number if, uh, be worried about the combat penalties. 
All right. Sort of, sort of the key here with this is just like not letting them uh, entrench, not letting them reorg as we're pu pushing them. Um, if they get a chance to s sit in these mountains, it is not good for us. Okay. Rommel's got something upgraded. We're gonna leave that one. Okay, not letting Italy in. It's gonna go up to three speeds since we're kind of sitting pretty. And of course, we want to attack into that tile. I would like to have a unit to attack him, but. All right, uh, Soviet uh, agreement. So they want to give us, I mean, we're going to betray them pretty quickly here, but they would get uh, heavy cruisers. They would get uh, some naval stuff. They get a research aircraft. Um, I wonder if that Soviet imports goes away. That's a good question. And uh, new consumer good factor is 10%. So, yeah, I will take it. Uh, I do want to see whether or not uh, Soviet imports goes away if they remember to do that. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's Tron time. They're going to be pretty close to capitulating here. We just literally need to get the, up to, like, one of these tiles up here. is encircled. I think at this point we'll uh, we'll make the birds chase up just because they have a better, better width. Right. And then I'll, I'll pull the I'll put the the helmets into a garrison order and then pull that stuff down. All right, this is sort of what I'm worried about here is Catching a unit that's actually got pretty good org. Yeah. Um, naval invading uh, Narvik is actually not a bad idea. So just even even with a few units, this can be a little bit quicker. So let's see that actually. So again, click here, left click uh, origin, right click destination. Click, click, left click, origin, right click, destination. Okay. Oh, I would like you guys to go this way, please. What happened here? We messed up something. All right, I'm going to pull these guys down. I think I accidentally clicked um, those two divisions together, or sorry, those two armies together. Yeah. Okay, so I just pulled I pulled these down. We're we're attritioning quite a bit, so we just have too much in the north there. Look over our production as we're capturing territory, as we're building factories, we're getting more and more here. And of course, we want to do our tungsten. All right, so we have a air doctrine to finish. Just keep going down. We got some research. So, um, right. So, uh, we're still behind. Not behind, but we're a little bit. Could be up to date on guns because we haven't looked at this since uh, doing it. So maintenance, we're up to date on. Uh, we could get the engineer. Uh, we can get our next tank. Actually, this would be a good one to, to put in the queue. Uh, I would like to have it. So, I'll take this one. So, we've got our tank going. That's a good option. Uh, we're going down our artillery. We're getting the next sub. Uh, 
this air is a little bit far away and we don't have a bonus for it. Uh, we're keeping up with our, uh, with our encryption and our research tech. And we can get these ones here pretty soon. So uh, we're looking pretty good on our research front. I'm going to just finish off Norway here and we'll get it very soon. Okay, it's nearly done. Uh, I just assigned anyone, <laughs> Manstein's fine. Uh, did we, oh sorry, we didn't actually set this up correctly. So I had them all signed. So this is something to, 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 to look at. It's, it's hard to notice, but I have three divisions here on this line. And I didn't set it up correctly. So I wanted to do one on each, um, but because these three were already assigned to that order and I didn't deselect them, they did, they're not assigned to that order. So I'm gonna select one of them and hold this button here and then click that. Select the second one, sign mode, and there. It yeah, it's just something you gotta look for. Like it's and when they overlap, it's very difficult to see. Um, yeah. All right, so we'll be able to go here in seven days. That'll be fine. Um, we're currently just setting up for we're finishing off Norway, and then we'll be setting up for the Soviets. Okay, I'm gonna be aligning um, Hungary and, and Romania. done here. Norway's almost done. So. Okay. And um, so we're going to set up uh, our defense orders. Again, just doing, we're just doing coastal defense this time. We don't tend to have to worry about anything other than that. 34. So a good way to get the numbers is do double the port number. So if we keep at least 10 up in Norway, we should be fairly fine. Okay, uh, and then of course we need, um, we're gonna need this here, sorry, the uh, supremacy in this region. And then up here as well. So I'm clicking our main fleet and then because they're on strike force and they're actually up here, which is good. Uh, I'm adding these two regions and we should be good. All right. So now it's just a race to Narvik. These guys are gonna go by sea, and then these guys are gonna go by land. And uh, yeah, part of the reason why I pulled back a lot of these units is because we just don't have the supply up here. Of course they attack, okay. So I don't know if this happens every game, but uh, so, so Italy attacks Switzerland before Yugoslavia, before anything. Um, yeah. They are winning, um, but I think we might need to help them out. Okay. That's a freight convoy, that's good. Yeah, this is n no, no DLC, um, which is very unfortunate, but so those guys down there, they are green, but um, yeah, okay, here, oops. All right, so I'm, I'm uh, making a new front line, clicking this, right-clicking one side, pushing it to the other. Um, for the southern tiles here, I can actually bring my tanks over, um, but I don't want to, I don't want to be fighting the, I don't want to be fighting them in, uh, in the mountains, if that makes sense. Okay, and make sure they're not assigned to any order. Okay. Yeah, I will, I'll join in a minute there, Italy. Just uh, give me a second. <laughs> okay, so they are, they are on Narvik. Let's see if we can get our air up. So our air, our furthest, yes, our furthest, Plane can reach Narvik, our furthest tactical bomber. Just give them a little bit of cast support while they're going up there. And there's Norway capped. West Africa is being invaded. They're just going to have to deal with Africa. Um, okay. And then, of course, Switzerland joins. That's It's not a, a problem, a huge problem. 
they can come across, we'll push them back. I'm just not happy that I have to deal with uh, Switzerland. Okay. So you're there. Let's give you... Um, so... Who did I pull off? Yeah, so I think I... This would be fine. So... Student... Do we do have anyone with... What are you, engineer? Engineer might be, oh, okay. I'm actually not gonna worry too much about it. Again, if you wanna micro your, your stats, go for it. So I'll move you here, you on a general, or on a field marshal. So we've got two garrisons, we've got some tanks coming down. They should be on redeploy. And Norway's finished, okay. So we're bringing this guy down. And then these fellas here, I'm gonna put on up here. Okay. It may be a little bit overkill for, for Norway. Let's double check our, our thing. Eight, yes, yeah, so we only need about 16 here. I'll bring them down here. That's good. Okay. Yeah. All right, and just adding tanks to the pile. We still have quite a bit, a bit of time to, to prepare. Uh, and yeah, as uh, Bobbius says in chat, letting Swiss take a little bit of your tiles a lot e is easier because you can kind of encircle them outside of the, the nation and not push them onto the mountains. Switzerland needs a lot of uh, victory points to take out. And I, I really do not want to take their tiles or their, their units. Okay, so we're just gonna do this here. Yeah, so we're attacking into mountains with tanks. Doesn't look like a mountain, but it is a mountain. Burn's not a mountain. Yeah, this is kind of unfortunate, keep pushing. Build province, so I'm gonna go this way with you. I'll take you guys this way. Slow down a little bit. As long as I have these two pinned, I can, I'm actually somewhat safe this way, like with the tile behind, but that is an opportunity to get encircled. Okay. You there. And of course I do have green air up. We do should have a lot of cast damage. That's good. We just need to... Beat them as soon as possible. That is a... a tile here with force tile, that is okay. Yeah. So you can see how like some of this, they're not melting as fast as I'd like them to be. <laughs> or fix our trade issue. Got more here. All right. Yeah, that's that's across a really big river. So again, depending on the river size, you can get pretty big debuffs. So, and then you know, mountaineers attacking the mountains too. It's not okay up here and take out the cities. Alright. Not too bad, but ideally we wouldn't have to do this. Uh, we don't actually need the war support. Visit Terror might be a good one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course, it's a city, but it's a mountain. Fun. This is part of the reason why I didn't just bring the entire tank force over. Um, you know.
Yeah. So yeah, I have answered this a few times, but uh, just new players sometimes don't have uh, all the DLC, and not too many people make this tutorial. So this is what we got. Um, of course, Italy attacked Switzerland, which was very fun. It's we've seen some weird things without the DLC. So um, there we go. All right, Switzerland's capitulated. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna ask Italy for some of these states. Give me this one. I don't know which ones they were gonna historically want, but oh, they won't even give it to me now. <laughs> Maybe this one. Okay. All right, whatever. That's good enough. Okay, so we can pull these guys back off. Excellent idea. Let's get some naval doctrines and uh, <laughs> infantry. All right. So we had some mountaineers. I didn't actually need, like, I didn't actually want to build these, uh, but, you know, we can convert them back to our regular infantry. Um, and we will need to build up a little bit. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're just going to start stacking in a lot more infantry. Let's say 72 for three full armies. And then I want to finish out... Whatever this doesn't equal to four. Okay, just gonna be building a lot of those, and then we're gonna go up on our tank. So I think we can actually probably redo our designs now. We're not uh, actively fighting, and I think we have enough XP. So let's do let's do one mech. Move the motorized. Okay, and then we're so we're at twenty there. Let's do. Medium. One more medium, and then one SBA. All right, so that's looking pretty good. We've got quite a bit more attack and a lot more breakthrough. I'm liking that. All right, so we're gonna save that. And it's saying that we need, we're behind a little bit with the SBA, that's fine. But we do have the tank fulfillment. Once we catch up with the SBA, we're going to be keeping that uh, ratio of 11 to 1 and then motorized. So uh, what I did here is I replaced one of the motorized with mechanized. And as we get mech, we're going to replace them. So that'll be doing that there. Okay. Get you guys going. Get you uh, yeah, you guys are done. You there. All right, we're now in a pretty good spot. We've got green air everywhere. They start challenging us in in that. Italy's doing pretty well down in Egypt. I think maybe we'll bring some air down for them. Let's bring two, three, four. Put four here to fight, and then two of our tactical bombers for Cass. I don't actually, I, I could bring down my, my, I could bring down your tanks to do like a little historical thing before Barb, um, but yeah. All right, we're going to invite um, Bulgaria to the faction, wherever it says here. We did have a couple pop-ups for that. And we are currently aligning Hungary. Okay. All right. So Italy, hopefully please deal with the, <laughs> the problems in, <laughs> down here, but... Efficient resources. We're just a little bit behind on tungsten. If it, if you got if it's anywhere between zero and negative eight, you're kind of fine. Uh, let's take a look at our convoy rating. It's doing pretty good. Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't stopped uh, trading through this area yet. But maybe they can't. Maybe they can't with the uh, the DLC. <laughs> All right, so everything is looking pretty good. Um, we do have some fighters in reserve. We do have quite a few fighters in reserve, so I'm going to put those out into air wings while we have a chance. 900. 
hopefully they fill up. We'll just train those up. Do the fun at training as well. Doesn't look like they're challenging us. Maybe we can move our air above Southern England. Or at least some of it. Yeah, they aren't challenging us. I would like to keep the the allies fighting us. So maybe we can do something where we hit England. And this will keep their, their production occupied. <laughs> How's it going, Rob? Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go up on speed now. Uh, where's our supply issues? Wait on here, eh? So we should, once we get Romania in, in the, uh, the faction, our supply should be better there. Um, but what we need to do is we need to fix supply in this area. We need to do airports and um, we need to get our tanks out. Again, we're looking for a ratio of 11 to 1. So we're going to go up on mediums. And I can go up on mech next. All right. So how this is going. Oh, it looks like they are uh, challenging us now in the channel. So switch to here. There we go. Not too bad. And then I can turn you off of uh, strategic construction. Okay. How's Italy doing there? Not doing super hot. Uh, that was Rhodes getting... No, sorry, whatever this island is here. Just got invaded. North of Rhodes. Uh, I can't know how... <laughs> I forget how to say this. <laughs> that area got invaded. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have all winter to upgrade this. But what the thing that we need to do is we need to upgrade um, these rail lines. So what I like to do is I like to connect a straight line to Warsaw and then do from there. So you see here Berlin and then Poznan doesn't have a, a rail line. So I'm gonna go here to, to there. So that's one rail line. So three, that'll be three. We can upgrade that once, upgrade that once, upgrade that once, upgrade that one. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do there. Then when that gets done, we'll upgrade this, then get this to level five. And then from here, we'll do a straight line like this. And then as we take hubs, we're going to be upgrading the line essentially like up here, up to here. And then, yeah, you'll see how, you'll see once we get into it. All right, we want to also align Romania. So Hungary should start getting uh, support. See their fascist supports going up. Um, I can improve relations, maybe. This might help a little bit, but... Oh, sorry, what? Did that just say follow London? Uh, no, so we're going to sign the tripartite. Oh, okay. So I, I wanted to do it so that we didn't uh, take over the UK. So... Oh, huh, okay. Well, it looks like the, the AI is going for it. <laughs> um... Maybe they'll get pushed out. Okay, and then sorry, the tripartite uh, a pact uh, gives us guarantees on Japan and, or for Japan. So when Japan goes to war, we'll go to war with the uh, whoever they're fighting, America basically. Um, yeah, maybe they'll get pushed out. I don't know. So they didn't actually invade with much, but the UK has nothing uh, in their mainland. So I'm just not going to help Italy, and we'll just see how that goes. Uh, it, it does make the game a little bit easier if you take out the UK before the US in, gets involved. Um, but I just don't particularly do it. Okay. All right. Another thing we can do is instead of occupying Norway, oh, we were missing a state. What are we missing? Okay. Sorry. I was going to say that we can make a puppet out of them, but. It does say that we we're missing a estate, Vaster Bolton. Uh, so I don't have that A, but oh, I found a bug. I think is that the two of them? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, let me just screenshot this. Uh, I, I wish I could get both of them up, but uh, I think I think the the dev teams will know a little bit. Okay, I will send that later. Mm -hmm. Where can I put this? That's fine. Yeah, that's uh, that's fun. So I I can actually make a, a puppet out of them. Okay, well. Uh, we should get the keep going with our uh, encryption and decryptions, and I do want to start recruiting new tanks. So yeah, all right. Make sure that we're only doing one here, and I'll deploy them manually. All right, Italy is doing quite well. Yeah. Uh, a little too well, in fact. Uh, that's cast there. A little too well. I, yeah. I wish they would just do Africa. <laughs> yeah, but, okay. Well, I'm not going to mind the, the Mediterranean too much. We're just going to do some build-up here. Again, where is our low supplies? Way up in Norway. Do, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something special for this. So, oh. okay. Put you back on these three. So we'll. Sometimes you misclick like that. It's that's okay. Don't worry. Everyone does it. Okay, so we've got those guys on there, but then I'm grabbing these three, taking them out, we're grabbing you, and we're not doing this state, and then these three will be on their own guy, and just do the port. So unfortunately, because like it's really far away from the, uh, the supply hubs, they uh, they can't they can't uh, they can't supply themselves. Okay. Hopefully that fixes it. Tempted to just delete this one. Okay. Yeah, this is another spot. So I don't think we need to actually garrison this state. Yeah, that's fine. They they land there, whatever. Let them have no supply. That's low up there, that's fine. That'll fix it. Okay, and then there we go. Our supply issue is fixed there. So when you're fighting, you definitely want to make sure you're not. Uh, on low supply. Okay. Three here. I can actually, I'm just going to go straight to five. This isn't the quickest way to do it. You want to do it one at a time, but because we're more or less at peace, like with uh, the Soviets, I can do this man. And if you, you can upgrade, I did show you in the last one how to upgrade with, um, with that, the, with the, the upgrade button, but doing it like that, always ensures that you're you're a lot more efficient so yeah we're gonna get radar in just gonna make sure we have lots of airports okay there we go do the infrastructure first there we go I think Italy was gonna lose this maybe We'll just keep looking at the. Uh, that's unfortunate. I can't actually get here. I might have to. Yeah, I think. In order to save. Why do you hate me? Oh, God. We are aligning them, right? Okay, this is fun. So, in order to save. Bulgaria, I might have to invade Yugoslavia. Uh, I don't have a really quick focus, do I? Slovenia, this would, this would take a bit. Yeah, like way too long. I'm coming, I'm coming Bulgaria bros. 
<laughs> yeah. This is uh, unfortunately a little bit more less smooth than I wanted it to be, but that's fine. We will set up an evasion order. There are 20 fellows. You guys can come down here and help out. And then I will bring the tanks over. Of course, they are fully equipped. I love this. Very good in-game battle stats. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Again, we'll set up an order. Another thing you can do is, like, if you have a situation where you have two colors that are the same, you can actually change the colors. I like to make the tanks black. Like this. Um, you know, just so it, it kind of sticks out a little bit more on the, on the thing. And the 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 autumn they never really pick pick automatic uh, automatically black. <laughs> if I could speak, uh, that's what uh, I'll be saying. Then we will bring down the air. Okay, so Italy just invaded Greece. This is sort of a cluster. We need to get down here and help out. Okay, here training. It's all just been... Sort of sort of a mess. Um, call to arms against who? If we decline, we break a guarantee. So we do have to go to war with... I think it's Greece that's going to be added to that list. So after after the tripartite attack, you, you need to respond to those uh, call to arms. Okay, here we go. So we can now invite... Romania, so I can stop this focus. I wasn't too sure. If you don't have the DLC, you actually can um, invite them earlier. Okay, we've already done Tron time. We could integrate. We're gonna take that. Uh, we're at, we're not at peace. So let's let's reintegrate Alsace Lorraine. Okay, <laughs> it's been it's been a little fun, but let's. Uh, Get that war goal very quick, and then... Alright, well, it looks like Bulgaria managed to help themselves out, and we also got Romania, so... The justification's kind of pointless now, other than... Um, <laughs> other than it being nice just to get them out of the way, so let's just do it. <laughs> Something to do in the meantime, I guess, while we're preparing. Get a little bit more XP, a little bit of combat. Also, I don't know how, how well Italy is going to do with Greece, so um, like we just need to get into this. All right. So allies are doing pretty well in North Africa. Sorry, the, the allies, not our allies. Somehow Italy is still surviving. <laughs> days. Again, we can kind of ignore, ignore. Deal with this. This will completely overwhelm their air wings. Fine. Yeah. Something is out of date. Oh, our submarines are out of data. All right, so what I'm going to do with this one, uh, so we're going to complete these two. So they're like in, in the process of being completed. So I'm just, instead of doing infinity, we're doing one. And then I'm going to grab two new subs. And then, unfortunately, we do have to reselect uh, our things. So maybe just grab the ones that are low. Do that. And then so when these complete, we'll start building the threes. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And I may just split this 20 in half. Do this. And assign a few more regions. Alright, so that's looking good there. So they'll finish in a second. We've got research. That's done. Got the other support. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. We we don't actually need much in terms of navy. I'm just doing that for a convoy rating. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go to war. Uh, I would like to micro these, so um, we're gonna do that that trick that I showed you guys earlier. So I want to manually micro the tanks. We do have planning, which is good. But we're gonna delete this line. We're gonna do. This here, holding down shift, we make a field marshal line. Field marshal line extends again. So it's planning. We delete the orders that Rommel have. Area defense, and then make sure they're on the field marshal. All right. So they should not be assigned to an order. It's there, there. Go forward, and we do have air, of course. All right. See how this goes. And prediction. All green bubbles. And see how quick we're moving now? Our tanks are even better than they were before. We're just spamming. So fast. We are out racing our supply, but that's fine. We will. Oh, sorry. I need. I do need to call Italy into it. Why these guys aren't attacking? Uh, Italy wants to join the war. So that that's where it is. There. We just need to make sure that they're in the war as well, so that we can attack from Italian territory. If you're not, if they're not in the war, you, they can't attack. So you can attack from there. Okay. Pushing down very quickly. Oh, uh, <laughs> we overran a unit there. Try to get behind them here. Um, so tanks in the mountains are not good. So make sure we're continuing on this way. See so we can get to that port. So if we, if we do keep them on the run, we get across the river. And avoid fighting in mountains. Yeah. With the tanks at least. Okay. Get you to finish that off. Running straight down the coast. I should go here. I should go here. So they're pretty close to capping. I think if we take this one and this one, they'll probably cap. Where are they? Right there. Yeah. Um, so we can actually look at our losses in the last month. We've lost 25,000. Mostly. Mostly Italy's lost that. Yeah, in fact, look at a lot of our battles, like zero manpower, lost 28, zero 14, right? Like here's zero and zero, and we've taken out 10,000. So we're doing quite well. All right, we're just gonna snake down their last couple BPs. Make sure they can't take it back. And that should be it there. So at midnight they'll capitulate. And we've got another invasion in the Eastern Baltics. All right, but this time we're a little bit more prepared for them. So I've got tanks that can come down here. I'm coming right, I'm helping you. <laughs> coming to help uh, Bulgaria. 
they were able to repel them last time, so not too worried. Um, okay. Again, Greece is quite mountainous. Mountainous. Um, I don't have any. I don't have any navy in the med. That's all on Italy. So let's see here. I'll I'll, I'll send down the uh, the infantry I have, but we might have to pull them out if uh, the supply gets too bad. Let's clean up the pockets with the tanks and move the tanks over, and then I'll bring them back up to the staging area for the Eastern Front. Alright, I may rush the MP guns, these are pretty good. It does it does add a lot of stats, strangely, well not strangely, but like a good portion of your stats are coming from, from there, so yeah. Uh, we can also move down our air, air force, here. Four. Okay. Yeah, Bulgaria is doing quite well, so I think we're, we're good there. Bring you guys back. All right. Even though these guys aren't fully trained. You know. Um, if you want to get more like efficient generals, keeping them on sort of like one for the battles is maybe the better way to go. Um, I haven't done that completely as efficiently as we could have, so. I'm just going to try to snake down behind them. We are... It is uh, not a very good area for supply right now. But it looks like this is all forced into the small pocket area. They can get out of just Corfu here, but if we take that tile... There we go. So that's an encirclement there. And then we just want to snake down these other... PPs. Uh, Greece. Greece is surprisingly hard to cap. You do kind of need all of their, their stuff in the south. Um, sometimes I like to paratroop uh, Crete because it's quite quite efficient. Like at a uh, doing that. All right. It's a nice little pocket. All right, and then that might be the last one there. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm hoping that Italy will deal with this while we <laughs> uh, we've we've sort of seen how how that goes though. So I don't know. All right. So we should be able to bypass these, can we not? No. War with Greece. Uh, yeah. So we don't need any of that. Um, let's see our focus read. So I could do West Wall to get some 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 ports and then do Atlantic Wall. Uh, air air innovations might be another good grab. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do air innovations first. And then... This might be the better of the two. Uh, so we can get a fighter model. So the, the see where it says close air support models? No, actually, I'm thinking of the, the DLC. Uh, yeah, uh, Germany actually doesn't get a, a fighter bonus, do they? Only the heavy fighter. Yeah. Oh well, uh, yeah. Uh, we will still need to do anti common turn pack, and then we can do war with the USSR. Um, I can kind of save that though for the spring. Probably don't want to attack until at least May. So I think our next three picks are this one, this one, and then this one. We'll probably oh, that'll put us into the summer. And uh, we are building some more tanks. So I can go down. So the ratio is. 11 to 1. So I'm going to go up here, down, 3. So I only need 2 a day. Yeah, so 2.5, that should be fine there. Uh, yeah, 2.6, 2 there. I'm loving it. 85 or 80 on tanks. 
It's looking good. We're getting to the, the top of our chromium, chromium abilities. So we may, I may switch a little bit up on the cast or, or the, the, the mechanized. Uh, yeah, how are we looking? Good, good, good uh, surplus for everything. Um, of course, we can ignore the tactical bombers, the transport planes, and navs. I'm not building them. Um, yeah, artillery we're just a little bit behind on. I think I think we should just move uh, everyone over to the pigeon, the 15 months. This this will save our artillery requirements. Um, okay, then we're gonna train those up. So we might have dozen or so tanks. Yeah, look, we even got Crete. <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. I should send troops down for Africa. Even if it's just a small, small little uh, task force. I just don't like having to cross um, cross the med without naval support, and the AI doesn't help you that well. Do you? All right. Let's just risk these six uh, infantry. I just want to help them out, get them sort of stabilized to to Cairo on that. Uh, while we're waiting, okay. I think that's really it for what we can build for tanks, just because uh, tungsten requirements are too high. So I'm just going to go down a wee bit to say 75. Yeah, that looks good. All right. So, I mean, 85 total on tanks, that's that's pretty good. You know. Three civilian factories. So that means that we did finish our, our rail line. So this is a level five. If I click this, yeah, we have no bottlenecks. So I want to um, essentially do a line here. So you'll see sort of like a T, T junction or an H, I don't know, whatever you call it. Okay. All right, we got our level three radar. This will give us good radar co coverage for when we, we start the, the battle. And we should have good support. Okay, get these on the field and train them. All right, where was our six little divisions? Are you coming across? All right, we're just kind of hoping they don't get raided. We're like watching allied units get across. Okay, where is this? Mid-Atlantic Gap, naval invasion in the Balkans again. Yeah, it looks like they're bouncing. Okay. All right, the six are across. That's great. Da, 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 da. Let's see here. We should be... Oh, we're not winning for air, are we? So the range isn't super great, but... See if we can pull some more off. Four more. We got four here. Um, and I can also you can also build um, airports in your allies. Of course, we have that bug again, uh, so let's just do that. Fix the production line. All 
Uh, so I, I was hitting, uh, holding down enter and hitting X there to get past the confirmation. All right. So my guys are going here. We're going to struggle for supply. That's another issue we'll have. Sort of up here. So if I, if I put one there. Try to give them a rail line. So something that like... If you're playing Italy, you want to do it yourself, but yeah, maybe we can help them out a little bit. Okay, let's go up a mech. All right, yeah, there we go. They're retreating out. <laughs> yeah, the second we start getting like yellow air and that, yeah, they have no supply here. This is probably a big thing they're struggling with. Maybe if we can snipe uh, Al Alexandra for them. Yeah, there we go. This will give us supply in this region. And the next tile is an airport, which is very... Oh, and there's one here too. So, move you up. Yeah. Instantly green air, instantly shredding them. They just need to show up. They get morale support, right? And when we take the Suez, the, the British Navy won't be able to, to get in and out of the port on this side. They'll have to go through this side, uh, where we can raid them. Um, and it'll help secure the mid a little bit. We could make Marines try to grab Gibraltar. We could probably try to just snipe it anyways. Um, but again, I don't have uh, don't have naval support, so I will have to... If we do that, we'll have to go from here. So that gives me an idea. I will... Try to set up this invasion. Does that let you do it? No way. I've never actually tried from this side. Yeah, I think you have to go through the med. That's not actually connected. That's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, and if I if I don't have control of the Italian Navy, I can't get in. There was a, a trick. I don't know if it's still a thing, but what you would do is you would do this. You'd go you'd remove the regions. Then you'd go like, sorry, you'd go like convoy rating. Okay. Oh yeah, they, they can go through here. So it the this blocks friendly division, so I couldn't bring my main fleet here. But I am through, right? So now that I'm here, I go hit strike force. Okay, so it doesn't give us much friendly uh, supremacy. Uh, subs are very non; they're not very good for that. But I can find a way to not that. Well, now that we've got the the port here, all the supply will come through this, so it will it make it'll will make it a lot harder for the allies to get through this. So I'm gonna see if I can snake up this way. Doo -doo. Of course, we are nearly done our doctrine. I'm surprised we're not that actually done. All right. Just gonna manually micro this for a little bit. Oh, they're overstacking this tile here. Okay. So I have eight here, but the, the AA decided, oh, I want to put a ton of units in this airport. So let's, let's take all of ours out, you know. Okay. Let's go 
get the Beirut and then I will do that. That should cut those ones up. All right, so next one in how much pack? So I have to finish this quickly uh, because I'm just not gonna be able to put any attention into the med for them later on. So I have to rely on Italy <laughs> clearing things up and hoping they they get to a good spot. And yeah, so this is a mountain tile. All right, we're almost there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So one, two, three, four. So that that's gonna be five. I think we'll be good at five. Uh, we need to finish the supply stuff. So five here, five here. Okay. Five here. Five here. Here. Okay. I will. I will help out the. Um, the Romanians as well. And I just noticed uh, we we still haven't we haven't gotten Horthy in. What's going on, bud? Are you not are you not gonna join us? I want to upgrade your rail lines. Do you not want better rail lines? Um, yeah. Okay. And I'm just gonna have everything done to the border, just because uh, when we go to war, we're gonna be grabbing new new supply hubs, and 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 keeping this uh, the supply. Oops. Okay. Let's plop these down. Airports. There we go. And then we should have all that finished in time. Uh, I'll also do Romania's um, next, but. Yeah, I'll I'll, sh I'll show you how we do this. It'll... Okay, proposal for continuation war. Um, so this is a new event. I have yet to see it, but it looks like yeah, it looks like we we have something here. We'll give them a non-aggression pact, docking rights, access. Great, and then they give us we give them a bunch of old stuff. Um, yeah, that's all old equipment. I'm not too worried. I don't know if that just generates but then we'll join the war against the ussr when we declare i like that that's a good good addition to the game um I, that that is new with 1.13 um if you guys are watching this live that will be added in, in on tuesday so tomorrow right yeah okay this Okay, yeah, and there's their supplies getting raided quite a bit here, so um, hopefully it's not super great um, for them here. I, we can't actually see too much, but yeah, that's red. Hard to tell if it's like because they're far away from their their hubs, or if it's like getting affected by. <laughs> Yeah, this certainly is cut off here. There's no ports on that side, so that should be good. And we're making sure that our... So we don't have them. Yeah, we do. So maintenance, uh, logies. That's looking all good. Okay. Uh, we have a bunch of political power, so I'm going to grab the Navy guy. So it'll give us more rating. Um, the ship designer doesn't really matter too much, uh, especially at this point, but let's grab the submarine guy for the visibility. There is a way to apply these. So once you take the designer, it doesn't actually automatically apply to it. So what we need to do is do this. So I added, it, we upgraded a little bit and now it's got that extra thing. So in fact, uh, do we have a, no, we don't have enough for two. Yeah. So those will be much better. Uh, yeah, and we could have done the trick where we finish off the last one and then do it, but yeah, I'm sure we're good. Let's double check that we're not overstacking. That's great. We, we can raid here, that's fine. 
There we go. That's that that should be enough to secure the med of what we got here. Um I can actually keep these guys down here. Just like uh Keep them in that theater. Um I suppose I, I haven't shown you this at all. So if you grab units and, and, and right-click the new theater thing, you can put them on a new theater. So if you have units that are not addressed to a certain front and you want to get them there or like have them like not be overcrowding the bottom of your screen, you can make a new theater. Some people like them, some people hate them. Um, I like to put garrison orders on or things that I'm just kind of not think about. Um, it's good to have them on there. And we can also set... Uh, priority so you guys should be low you guys should be high all right so we're gonna need a lot of infantry for the later part but the first part pretty good we have a ton of air we need to get up uh fighters which we should sh just completely shred them now that like now that i'm thinking about it I thought we had about, what was it, 5k? Yeah, 4k fighters. So that's going to be considerably higher than the Soviets. So another thing I could show you is I've been keeping up with the, the intelligence. So if you right-click uh, country to bring up the diplomacy screen, you can actually look at their details. Um, this will look a little bit different if you have a bunch of DLCs or if La Resistance is the main one, but you can actually see what they have in the field. And so the entire Soviet Air Force is around three and a half thousand. So we've got 4,000. I know that my planes are better. Um, so the beginning part of the war is going to be not a whole lot of movement, but uh, most of it will be done in the air in terms of the fighting. And then, yeah, we're going to take out the Air Force. Um, we've got similar size divisions or a uh, number of divisions they probably have slightly more in terms of factories uh we outmatch them i've got 183 fa uh, military factories they have a little bit under 100 uh dockers don't matter civs don't really matter um and then estimated manpower so you get you get a lot of intelligence see what they're doing um it doesn't matter too much like all these little things here but if you're playing against other players you'll have Obviously a different looking screen, but it's good to know what they're building so you can kind of counter it. Um, but yeah. So we are looking better off than the, the Soviets right now, so. Do, do, do. Yeah. And we're just gonna have a ton of, oh, we did lose a submarine. I think it, uh, in the future we're we do lose subs, it's only going to be the sub twos that we lose. So, and then I get another invasion in the, the Baltics. They like to hit up there. <laughs> All right. What are we doing for time? Oh, it's only been 30. Mm -hmm. All right, you have a bunch of stuff that you can do. Um, just going to not do any of that. As far as our political power goes, we're build up our political screen. I think maybe it's almost worth doing these. Not quite. A good one we can grab is war bonds. If we look at our construction, of course, I have that bug again where I can't see the top. All right, so we actually have 53 consumer goods uh, expectations. That's quite high. So if I hit this. This will bring down our consumer good factories by a fifth. And, oh, <laughs> it's not not friendly today. Um, yeah, so that was seven good factories. I like it. I will take it. Okay. Okay, five, five, five to the border. Uh, yeah, oh, we can go over the template. Yeah, so we'll go over the templates again here. So I'm doing 15 width uh, just because of the new combat with sizes. 
I was trying 20, 20s are okay. Um, they just cost a lot of artillery and I'd prefer to put that uh, production into planes and tanks. And then this is our tank. We've got a 35 width. Uh, we're slowly switch switching out the mechanized for the motorized. And we have, of course, one, one SBA. Okay. So we've got a lot of tanks. I'm just gonna spam them out right now. Let's go in here, chew on that line. ahead of time let's get our cap oh so we need to get all of these here we're behind on this by a few months the next ones are going to be all domestic <clears throat> we will catch up to this um i'll make sure that this is uh, uh in the green before we go to war And we'll start moving our Air Force over. Uh, yeah, we just got the one. So I'm not going to need quite that many. I'm going to leave one here. I'll leave you here. I'll move this one to the cast. Okay, so Got two going across here. We'll leave one for this for interception. We need to make sure that we're training up these guys. Okay, and then of course our last pick. So this will take 70 days. At the end of 70 days, we it will give us a war goal and we'll use it right away. Okay. So I just wanna make sure that I have air coverage over Germany because they will try to bomb us. Um, looks like Vichy's pushing them out a little bit. We lost Sardinia, which is unfortunate. Or at least I should say Italy lost it. Um, we are catching a lot of their, their troop convoys. That's very good. Um, yeah, if you hover over you, the, the convo convoys here, you can see that there's like freight convoys and there's troop convoys. There's no way to tell after the fact, like you can't tell what, what this was here after, but during the ratings, you can see this. It's obviously much better to catch troops than convoys because you do a lot of damage to them. <clears throat> um, but yeah. I'm gonna try to force out what we have here in the, in the and then if I have to I'll merge up the last few but yeah okay and then with these we're gonna start filling out These values. So I'm just doing our th special thing here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do the full line. Actually, what we'll do is I will I'll do the the full line for Germany, and then I'll will send Romania down some especially. Okay. 
Okay, just make sure we got full supply on that. We'll motorize all of these fellas. So yeah, you can see our train train requirements are going way up. That's fine. And I'm just gonna give uh, Romania one full army. And these guys will be in reserve. doing for numbers 2,000 tanks we'll fill them in 80 days it's not gonna be quite quick enough so I'm not gonna get a full tank army but let's oh you can't merge them okay so I don't know what DLC it is but there is a button a special consolidate button and it's not there so I'm just gonna delete these four this will return um, 1800 tanks uh, to our stockpile and then, yeah. All right, well, that is unfortunate. Um, all right, I'm gonna do a full field marshal line for the tanks. And then we'll, we'll do our trick and we'll, we'll manually micro these. So there is a few important things that I will cover. Um, yeah, when we get to it. Okay, so we're we're looking pretty good. We're 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 quite set up. We could have maybe done a focus earlier. We are kind of wasting our 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 summer, but it's not the the worst thing. Another radar, and then uh, from this point on, mills. Yeah. Okay. Uh, domestic stuff. Okay, hopefully they can just repel that. All right. And that is Japan attacking the Philippines, so they're going to start attacking... Uh, the Americas are going to start attacking. <laughs> I guess Italy's pushing down... Um, Maybe we can let them do that and we'll just come back here and do a fallback line. Something like this. Just in case they get pushed out. Okay. So I'm going to want them at least regular, all these ones here. Um. I'm a sign. I will start moving these to the front. So, for the most part, um, Soviet front is a lot of hills and a lot of forests. So, believe it or not, we're actually good to hit the the hills. Uh, we want to hit the, the hills <laughs> more than the forests. Um, it's just a quirk uh, of their our naval or not naval our tank designs right now. Okay, so I'm going to do every other tile. More or less going to get some tanks. So fuel is definitely going to be a big problem for ours, for us. Just want to make sure we're trading for some. Because the next part is um, a lot of uh, fighting. Okay. Move the shorter range ones over a little bit. Okay, ooh, we, we sunk a battleship. <laughs> All right, 
Three days to lore. Uh, I will wait the the ten days that we're gonna need to do for this. Or sorry, fifteen. So we have the war goal. That's fine. Uh, Tron time we've already done. Let's do Westfall. Or air innovations might be a good one to go for. That. Yeah, so like I said, I want these at least regular uh, for their stats. Uh, ideally, they would be, sorry, at least uh, trained. Uh, ideally, they would be regular. Um, but you can only wish, right? Um, and while we're at it, before we get into it, I can replace the mechanized one more. Yep. Just get them better stats. Okay. All right, should just be another couple days. Um, I'm gonna continue with the uh, trade introduction because we have subs and we're gonna go down this side here for the better sub stats. This is nearly done. One more. Okay. All right. So we're stop stopping the training. We're gonna get full org. All right. Perfect. We're we're set up. So I'm gonna grab everything and I'm gonna put most of them here. Turn off naval strikes. We want casts. I'm gonna leave a few behind. In Western Poland, just in case they that they attack us here, uh, and then I'm going to be shuffling between these two two zones. Um, yeah, and then we'll just see how the 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 AI air reacts. But yeah, we are ready to go. Um, still convoy raiding the Allies quite well, unfulfilled. Looks like Sweden's not giving us as much. Another thing we could do is um, because the the Soviets might actually naval invade us. So I'm gonna think um, I'm gonna get the, this area here on convoy escort as well. Or sorry, not convoy escort, but uh, strike force. Okay. Good here. Good here. Ignore. 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 All right. So we've only lost a hundred thousand so far. We're gonna lose a lot more with the Soviets, but it's just what we're gonna have to do. So start the war. Continuation war happens. That's great. And do we get a barb bonus? We do. So for the next uh, six months, I think it is. So till December, we get a plus 10% attack against the country. So we want to utilize this um, and kind of like make sure we do a lot of our attacking initially. So mm -hmm. we don't want to like wait around too long, but they should, they may attack us right away, which is going to be a good thing. So we're going to let them do their initial assault. And we're going to do more ground crews for our fights. And then we're just gonna see how, how the AR reacts, reacts. So, yes, okay, so this is perfect. This is what we want. We wanna see them attack us. Okay, so it looks like they're only attacking on a few tiles. And because we don't have air up here, they're actually getting us, uh, they're winning that tile. That's fine though, we should probably fix that in a second. Molotov, gonna be a bunch of pop-ups. All right, so the key for fighting the Soviets is you want to do encirclements. So they have a ton of troops on their border, right? So the one thing we don't wanna do is we don't wanna just push them back, okay? So everything that we need to do here is gonna be about encircling the enemy. So I'm gonna attack these tiles here, I'm gonna attack here, I'm gonna attack here, Gonna support that attack. I'll, I'll attack that. I'll attack this, and just sort of like find ways to to break. That's a mountain tile. Uh, let's hit here, here, and here. Okay. So, you know, uh, we got pretty decent stats despite crossing a river there, despite crossing a river there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna push them back a little bit, 
and then try to make wee pockets, like one tile at a time pockets. Okay, and that's the name of the game. Okay, so I'm crossing here. I'm just gonna continue. I can double combat with these guys here. Okay, and we're just gonna go up and down the front. Let's try to make these small, small pockets. So this this way would be a better way to do it. here and just want to make sure the infantry is coming behind us actually let's not go north with that guy let's go south and let's take a look at the air war uh these are some pretty good exchanges okay <laughs> six to fifty yes that's very good all right and like i said uh, i was worried about uh mainland so yeah, they're just hitting us there. Uh, get that up. Okay. Just make sure the infantry is coming in behind us. Okay, we'll do this. So that tile's already... Okay, so here we go. We've got our first little uh, encirclement and the other one down here. So you see here, it's just we make a small pocket, close it, and then just keep rinsing and repeating that. And we have to do this all the way along the line. If we do this very efficiently, by the time we get to like Moscow, they won't have much of an, uh, an army left, and then we, can, we don't need the tanks anymore, and we can just kind of push with our infantry. But until then, no battle planning. Do not battle plan, <laughs> okay? This is, do it the microwave. Do it the microwave that I'm just teaching you here. This is a very good skill to learn. Um, but yeah, just get them. Uh, you can do bigger envelopments like what we're doing here with the mountains. I'm going to be pushing down to here, but uh, more or less, you just want to look for those little pockets and get them here and there, okay? So just you you watch me do that over and over again. Um, yeah, and it'll start to it'll, these numbers will start to add up. So currently they've lost 72,000 and we've lost, it's, it's not even saying on this because it's so low, but it's less than 12,000. Okay. okay. Battle is over here. Okay. And then, and it's, it's sort of like, we want to plan it kind of like a lattice, like think of a, uh, like how like a like a chain like like fence works. You want to just every other tile just kind of like go behind them, and then like sort of crisscross, crisscross, making little pockets like this. All right, where are you going? You're going up that way. Yeah, right, let's let's cross this way here. Uh, and another important thing to do look for is like early on, um, the 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 supply hubs are very close to each other. But once you get out here, um, you may want a snake for them. So I'm not going to be too worried about taking this one here, but uh, keeping in mind where the where they are is very important. Okay. Go in here. And you can always support with the infantry too. That 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 helps. Crisscross, crisscross. Make sure infantry is going into empty tiles. So we can close pockets. Yeah, okay, I just want to make sure that I'm still trading for oil. Convoys, yeah. We can buy from Iraq as well. Oil is going to be kind of our biggest uh, uh, problem. Let's 
So I'm going to try to pin this guy here. And then try to take this tile here, get across that river. Okay, so this might be a good time to call in Romania, just so I can attack from this side. Um, this is a better tile to hit, I think. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can pin. I can't pin that guy right now, actually. That's unfortunate. Maybe I can get this across. Just try to pin them. There we go. Right, so that's a good pocket there. Alt. We got another pocket here. It's just all about creating pockets. Pocket, pocket, pocket. We close the pockets. Make the pocket, close the pocket. Uh, will units with oh, low org automatically retreat the battle? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you get attacked, they'll they'll retreat. Uh, like if they hit zero. Um, yeah, that's not a problem. And then, of course, we can kind of try to close these. These are mountains, so it's going to take a little bit to close. Let's... Uh, so attack them anyways. Alright. Yeah, so you can kind of see, like, I've got a, a whole big gap in the line. I could just kind of rush this, right? So, um, they're in a situation now where, like, they're going to crumble. Like, we could do another push up this way. They're going to try to shuffle down, but eventually it's just going to be... Uh, there's not that much left. So, again, we are looking for small encirclement opportunities. Those are the pockets we have. to be on the other side of that river, but Let's see if I can do this.
Okay, that's being close there. That's gonna be close there in a second. Uh, sometimes, yeah, these take a little bit to convert, so we're kind of outrunning our supply again. Okay, so that's going to be taken there. So again, I'm not going to push into these empty tiles, just so... I mean, I might take the marsh tiles, actually, but like, uh, when we have these plains tiles over here, I'm not going to push into them. I'm going to try to get them to come back out of the front and then do more encirclements. Uh, the reason for that is the the marsh tiles are kind of like uh, mountain tiles. Like, you don't... They're not very good for tanks and that. And... Yeah. <laughs> Um, it might be good to do like the, the northern push thing here I was talking about. So I'm, I'm going to move some, kind of angling some of my tanks back up. So once we close these pockets that I'm about to create, I might come up here and, and try to hit Riga and then s sweep around. Uh, and then we've got another uh, sweep opportunity down here towards Odessa. So, yeah. And uh, we can take a look. They still got 200 units, two 300 units. So it's not like, uh, it's not like they're dead yet. So. Just taking our time, no need to. To worry. Close these pockets while we can. Do ba do. Okay, and so yeah, just to show you support attacks holding down control for the blue line. Uh, so we did hear Burr. What was the Burr? The Burr is a naval invasion in Athens. Um, we do still have some planes there. Hopefully Italy can deal with that. If not, I don't know. We'll have to send something down later, but that's fine for now. Okay. So I was hoping, hoping to get a little bit more tanks in, in such a pocket. This needs to convert um, before they all start to move out. They're going to try to shuffle down a little bit. Um, it's not really too much I can do with that at the moment. Actually, let me do this. We should be up there. There we go. Another encirclement. Again, we just want to keep doing the encirclements. Keep encircling. This is a support. So this push, we're going to try to uh, widen up a little bit, but it's not just the one snake tile. Okay, there we go.
I'm gonna move this tank down here because they're not helping in the mountains. Okay. Yeah, tunnel finish. Uh, why not researching? It's just what you you do. <laughs> Uh, we've only got the one. It's it's actually only been six days, so I mean it's not it's not like you just want to periodically check in that. It's not a big deal. We, like getting these encirclements, this is the the primary uh, objective. So you, know, you got research. You got a couple doctrines to do. Almost got that one. That's gonna be our last doctrine. Uh, we got a little bit of political power. We got a lot of aces being promoted. Um, we could check our air map. So. We could move some down to Ukraine. Um, yeah, let's do that. So whoever's on this over here. Six, Ukraine. Five, Belarus. Um, let's take a look at our exchanges actually too. Yeah, we are still shredding them. They're down to 2,000 fighters. I don't think they're in any other air alone. No. Yeah, we are still shredding them, still getting the cast damage, all good. We're nearly done here, so I'm going to come up this way, right here. Uh, and I'm going to try to get more up into this pocket here, or this uh, salient, I guess. <laughs> and we're almost at Minsk. Here, you attack that. Where are you going? Okay. Let's close these pockets, please. All right. Let me just keep doing this. Sometimes the, the infantry doesn't like to go into the, the smaller pockets. Uh, it's a bit annoying, but... <laughs> okay. Come up on that side. Do have anything to pull up? There we go. And then we'll have to attack this side here too, but... That's a, a bigger one. Squishing this pocket down is getting there. Uh... On there. Here, I'm gonna bring him up to, to grab this. This is kind of important. I wanna add a little bit more. I wish he, that one didn't redeploy like that. This is what you gotta worry about. Watch out for. It's like if you start moving up, they sometimes can get behind you like that. That's fine. It looks like they are retreating out of this pocket. And I did not get as many as I needed to. I, I should have brought a couple tanks over on this side to take out the ports first, but let's see if we can pin them and keep them in place. A second. So we don't want them to stay on that river tile. Uh, these river river line here. So we want to make sure we're getting across. Okay. Should be clearing that out. Oh, and we did clear this pocket. Good. 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 
uh, we should be looking at. So they're just about to hit a million casualties, and we have lost 50,000. Not bad. And they're down to about 250, so we've destroyed about 100 divisions. Um, yeah, we just need to do basically what we've done, but like two times over. <laughs> Okay, so we got some of them there. Pockets. Don't actually need to be attacking this guy here. Looks like that's the Romanians doing that. All right, four on the marshes. Oof. Okay. Sort some of our stuff here. Ooh, so we did finish the, the new tank. That's good. Um, and then we also have the next Doctrine. So let's do that. So that's it for Doctrine. Um, the rest of our XP is going to go towards upgrading our tanks. And yeah. Uh, we've got some mechanized in our vision, so I think I can swap these out once we have a little bit. Uh, so it's not, I can't actually do it yet, but it's fine. Say no to you. Sure, you can have a non-aggression pack. Sure, you can, you can ignore all these. Uh, still doing quite good for our convoys, uh, in terms of our convoy rating, rather. We lost a little bit of freight, looks like. It's unfortunate. Again, we can't block off tiles, which, you know, I would like to be able to do. Uh, so yeah, we still have the... If, uh, your director option. We still have 150 days for that. That's fine. But we do need to get Leningrad and Stalingrad. I don't know if we'll be able to snake to Stalingrad in that date. That's uh, it's gonna see. It's it's gonna depend on how much I can actually encircle. But yeah, we're doing we're doing we're doing alright. Small encirclements, small encirclements. Yo, yo. Just continuing on with our no DLC tutorial. Uh, I would like to get a little bit down into this horrendous pocket, but they're not very inclined to shuffle for me. I'm gonna halt that. Just keep going with the tanks. These guys are out of supply a little bit. Hopefully someone's walking to that pocket you are. Eastern Balkans is getting invaded by Australia, but they'll bounce. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get the, the directive, but... 
Yeah. There. I need my infantry really to uh, to catch up. If you're gonna, if you're gonna redirect, like if you're gonna just just strategically redeploy at this point. So you're far behind the line and you're moving. Just get to the front, please. <laughs> okay. Get in the pocket. The very low supplied pocket. And then we're just going to race down here to Odessa and then try to get across this. In fact, uh, yeah. This is a bit of a risky move. You wouldn't do anything like this in multiplayer, but the AI is not going to react to us. At least not quick enough that it's going to matter. The encirclement's in the marshes. Ouch. But what can we do? I am trying to get across this river. Just taking a little bit of time because of the stuff there. Okay. That doesn't look like they're reacting to us. That's great. This way. And make sure we are on green air. Yes. I could, in fact, use a little bit of cast in this area. This is probably where I need it most right now. Okay, we'll put it here first. This could be the, the bane of us, the end of us, because of this, but... Yeah. I messed that up a little bit, but we will still get this pocket. Try to widen this up. the south. Yeah, so I, uh, pulling back from the river line might be the best option here. Or getting along an earlier point. So, unfortunately we let them entrench a little bit. But, we'll be alright. This needs to convert. We'll get some supply here. Again, continuing with our campaign of little pockets. So, Vubtesk is a, a, a supply hub. This is where we got to start like, thinking about our supply hub, uh, Gamel. And yeah, I do want to get across this river, in fact. Line it this way. Get into this pocket. across here. That's good. Start widening this. Alright, you need to get there. Please do not hurt me. <laughs> okay. 
We'll snake down to Kiev. Please go in. Not you. So this guy here has got like no org. I'm just gonna plop him on an, another general and then hit last stand because I want to keep this tile to make sure that doesn't break out. So they'll last stand and then I'll take Odessa. Just like that, easy peasy. Okay. And of course, front lines are a shuffling. You want them to. Lines are a shuffling. So we did get Kiev, that's good. This is a good supply hub. Takes a bit, and then we got a nice little pocket down here. I think I'll get most of those. And then I'm just going to attack this. Again, I wish they would kind of go in, but I have to manually micro them. Sometimes like that. Yeah, support attack that, and that's another pocket, potentially. At no point do I need units down there. That's it's. it's they come across it's fine right okay pocket 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 gomel's looking okay don't stay where you are Open up the wit there I would like to encircle this, but because that is a medium tank, and it's going. I need this to be. So you go that way. You go this way. Pocket to close. Let's see if I can get across this river right away. Okay, so let's. To be widened, that's being attacked. All right, good things are looking good. Do with our stuff, yeah. I can ignore that. So looks like they did land on like one of the tiles there, but it's really affecting anything. Do non-aggression packs with China. Oh, so we are sh are we are lacking support equipment? Okay, so I do need to fix that. We'll we we'll need to go up on support equipment. Yeah, we're only on on three, so um, here, let's just go down a little bit here. Up to five a day. How long would that take? Forty days to replenish. Yeah. Um, so three, we'll go down a couple because our, uh, when we switched up the, the medium tank, our SBA is out of date now. So, or sorry, sorry this is out of, yeah, this is out of date. <laughs> and so like the ratio changed. Um, 
cast would be something to go up on. We're good for trains. Artillery, how's that looking? How's it? So we are losing a little bit of artillery, but it's not too bad. I'm going to keep 10 on guns because we're probably going to need it. Uh, soon when we finish this, we're going to upgrade them. And trucks. Oh yeah, we're doing really good for trucks, but yeah. Okay. So we have a little bit of XP now. Um, and I did want to replace these. So it looks like, yep, yeah, just a little bit better, a little bit more hard, uh, hardness, better stats. Just add up. They all add up. You just make it a little bit better everywhere. All right. So I know they're, they're, I haven't been talking a whole lot, but uh, it's just all about microwing this stuff here. You just want to take your time and get those pockets, right? Because that's how you, you finish them off. If you push them back in a front line, it's it's going to be horrendous. They'll have 300 divisions, but they'll be uh, they'll be on a much further back line. So I'm just widening this to get across the river so that we have uh, more opportunities to do stuff. Okay. So I think I can start like filling in this pocket here. Sort of doing something a little bit risky. Back here. Yeah. So if I do this, can you here, I move you in like this, like this, like that's like this. I think I can get across the river here. Yeah. So I'm gonna support attack that just to keep them in place for a second. are not good for tanks at all. <laughs> okay. Get this. That's going to be a medium. Encircled. I like it. Okay, and this needs to be converted. Okay. I don't know why you guys are shuffling out of that, but that's okay. We will make do. Yeah. I'm gonna widen this up. I'm kind of worried about that. A little, little pocket. Okay. Uh, I would like them to come back to this front, so we get some more. Encirclement opportunities. Just do that. Close off this. Oh, they've just completely left Riga. All right, so they're falling back a little bit. It looks like. Let's see if we can pin some of this. Push this. Ooh, what happened there? Pulled something off, yeah. I didn't want to do that. Um, something you could do, this is a little bit more advanced, but um, if you have units and you want to make sure they're deselected, you could always hit Q twice. That'll bring up your political screen. And what this does is it, uh, it deselects your units, guaranteed. Um, it's something that I quite haven't mastered yet, but um, maybe that's something you want to practice. Alright, they're coming in. I don't do this. this.
All right, so we got a, a, the full division down here. Or not division, full, full 24 down here. Get them uh, up like this. Also got some of our tanks not doing anything, so put you to the front. You're moving. We really want this. This is the supply hub. This region. Okay, so we're gonna get a, good, a nice pocket here. And I don't want to push too fast. But out of focus, let's get a small, I guess. Or actually, we wanted this one here for the research bonuses. Let's see how many pockets go into that pocket. Is our air doctrine finished? Every time you hear that that noise, you kind of want to check it, make sure that it's something that's not going to be too bad. The uh, naval invasion si sounds will like haunt your dreams, uh, you know, before long. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can do something a little bit more. All right, so maybe something around Smolensk. Okay, you need to be pinned. And we've taken this tile? Okay, so that, that that's gonna be encircled. As long as I keep that one. So we'll start closing it. Uh, marshes do not do well. Down here. There we go. All right. So you, sometimes you get opportunities where they, they've attacked for a long time, they'll, they'll or deorg themselves really low, and then you can counter like this. So even though like I'm crossing this river and I've just got the, the birds, they're not you know my terrible infantry, I should be able to knock him out really easily because he's got no org. Okay. And then we widen. All right, and so this will be in circle two. Let's get you to here. No, 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 no. Oh, I knocked him out. All right, so I should get a couple there. Going along the line. You can see here now we're starting to erase our supply a little bit. Darn. I was hoping I would catch that. Come on, there you go. Okay, so maybe this, and this, so this, Q, Q. Oh, actually, let's come down here, do this. I'm gonna push them back a little bit just so they're not so close to this pocket. 
Okay. Here and here, maybe? Not a whole lot of supply, but... I would like to get the, the tanks. The tanks are very good value for money. Value for attack. I'm gonna snake with this guy to see if I can catch the ports out. Once you're done. Like that. Alright. So for like uh, forest tiles and marshes, like that's good to just kind of push very quickly. For the the planes, this is going to be encirclement uh, opportunities, so I didn't want to just push into the planes. I want them to shuffle their units down um, just so I can catch them off a little bit more. Alright. Yeah, come across. Just trying to get the Wii encirclements over and over. Just keep encircling it. Just keep encircling. Alright, so they're, they're going to start shuffling up this way. You, you go there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna make sure we're covered from behind. Uh, it, it could be something we could do. Yeah. Um, naval, the Leningrad tends to have actually units here, and because they're in Finland, um, they're, uh, they're, they're gonna have a bunch of units here. So we might not land. Um, I also think they would have supremacy. They don't. Interesting. Yeah, where's the Soviet Navy? Soviet Navy, it's, it's like entirely in the uh, Black Sea. Huh. Yeah, that's something we could try. Uh, I'll give it a go. So we got these guys here. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can just maximize all your your, your advantages there. That's not that's not a terrible thing to do. Len like naval invading invading Leningrad might be good because you could snag it out from Finland's hand. Yeah. I could make marines. I could make marines. So, uh, just did 160 days. I don't really want to research them. Um, yeah. I was hoping to get a little bit up in here, but uh, this is the uh, the problem with snaking. See here. See how we sometimes get cut off like that. It's not always good, but you know. Okay. So. Continuing with our small encirclements, closing them off, close them off. And support attack with these tanks if they're not doing anything.
it's like their last any of the marches marshes this will take a while to, to finish off but if we can kind of get them into uh one or two tiles that might be worth it all right there we go we've taken we'll take narva He's got to get in there. Okay. Stop that, that's a tank on a marsh. Okay, so again, looking for encirclement opportunities. Bring you down here. So like, that's one there, just, just straight here. <laughs> Move this to here. Move you to here. Support after that. Here and here. Close the pocket. Here and here might be another spot. So if I move you here, here, you like that. If I had more on this, like to come up here, I would uh, snake a bit further, but it's. How did you not get into Narva? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Do they have air up there or something? Okay, that's that's what it is. Okay, let's sort this out. So they've moved their air up. It's, uh, if you play enough of this, you, you know like the speeds of things and how long things would take and um, uh, a little surprise that they... <laughs> <laughs> they were able to move that quick. Well, turns out I needed to move my air up. Actually, I can move all of this here to Kiev. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to cut you off this way just so you don't... Sometimes I go on these islands, it's very annoying. Right. Pockets. Um, I'll wait. Uh, I might actually watch this for a second so I can attack, attack that. Uh, how do you make the custom divisions? Oh, very easy. Uh, yeah, so you have the division designer here. So you just, you can create from empty if you want. You add whatever division you want. Uh, or you can modify existing ones. So this is uh, my bigger infantry, which I'm not using. I'm actually using this 15 width one. It's a little bit cheaper. Uh, and then this is what we're using for a tank. So if I wanted to customize this and add a little bit more mech instead of motorized, I would just Click that, switch it, and then hit save. And it looks like we have enough to actually do that. So let's do that. Yeah, watch if you watch part one, I do go over all this, so. Uh, yeah, just click my channel and go to my previous streams. That'll be, there should be a bot up there. Okay. And so, like, it's a big part of this is patience, you know, trying to find situations where. Okay, so I, said, I said I was going to watch this because I was hoping that would actually deorg. It's not deorged, so the green is deorg or the organization, so it's not actually going to be worth crossing there. Um, and because I just changed my template, you guys may notice in the field. Um, they're all a little bit lower strength. They will get that delivery soon, but um, yeah. Okay. Just 
clearing off this side. And the tanks look back to here. Okay. So this is our, our, our best spot down here now for, for um, taking out their divisions. Let's take a look at their count again. So they're down to about 170. So they're around half the size they were previously. Um, so considering we have we have about the same size army now on their front, um, they're down to 2,000 planes. So they're half their plane size. So we're about halfway there. So the idea is that we can get most of the rest of them before we hit Moscow. I may have to try to snake for it in about three months, but yeah, if we can get um, if we can get them down to another half, so to like a quarter of their full size, I will just start battle planning um, because they just won't have enough to put on the line. So you see here, there's lots of gaps now. Um, not not too many, but they're like down to one per, per tile. Um, and it's, it's a lot easier to push at this point. So um, yeah. All right, so continuing on with our <laughs> our things, we got a small pocket in the marshes that we got to clear off. Go here, here. Okay. Might move this tank down this here. Have you go here? I did want to get across, uh, just because rivers are very annoying like to attack <laughs> they're very they're great if you want to hold tiles if you want to defend yeah sit behind a river in fact if you're playing as the soviets um the defense line is right here so here i'm just gonna pause this is the defense line oh i can't ping but if you follow this uh this river here the the dipper all the way up right behind gomel desk and then this line here and then if you want, you can hold Kiev, because Kiev's a supply hub. So you can hold Kiev and these two tiles here. And then if you want to be a little bit brazen, you can kind of hold where these guys are holding. Um, you don't push too far out to the, the marshes, um, but like this is a good kind of spot to be. Um, yeah. So we've kind of broken through the, the very scary line that the Soviets could have managed. Yeah, you'll see that I'm switching over to the supply map a lot because that's kind of what will kill us if we don't have supply. Like if we don't, uh, if we don't get it, it it can be quite painful for us. Ah, uh, nah. Just wait till they start moving. So Kharkov might be the good next spot to push towards. I don't know if I can push with low supply. Okay. So we have this one. Try to swing around. Hopefully, you can get these guys into the battle. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to cross over to Crimea. And we're gonna clear up this and then get to Kursk at least. Or get across this so they don't actually do this. So we're a little bit of snaking. This is a bit risky. Not, not necessarily the best thing to do, but. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
Oh, we somehow beat them <laughs> there. Yeah, let's, let's get every tile so we're not thinking about it. Just close in the pockets. So... Last to pull down. Just gonna go up on cast. I don't, at this point, we're we're kind of good for production, so I don't really need to build too much more. We just need to you know, find those encirclements. Slowly push here and there. See if I can get across this little river. Maybe that might be worth it. Oh. Let's see if we can get the city. The supply hub. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll just sit on this tile uh, and then pull some infantry down over here. Just so we have the south. In fact, um, these guys that we have in reserve, I'm going to bring them here. Okay. And we were going to set up a naval invasion, which I have yet to do. Uh, I've showed you guys this a few times, but you, get, you should know the thing. Left click origin, right click destination, click, click, right click, 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 left click. Uh, so we'll, we'll hit from five spots. Okay, should be good. Uh, all right, unassign all. Do two at a time. Two. 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 No, it's not. It's not bad to start in, in thirty nine. That's uh, what I've done. Um, it's it gives you as Germany it gives you a good amount of time to build up and get a lot lot more factories. Um, you know the AI will also build their own factories. You can do it a little bit quicker, a little bit cheesier if you want to attack early, but it's not not too big of a problem. All right, so uh, we're going to need to get our navy to give supremacy here. I think we're going to have to move them. It has to do with the range, so their range isn't quite quite there. So it caps out here, and then I think it caps out over here. So if I bring him down to Copenhagen, that should be good enough. Uh, again, we're kind of hurting for fuel. That's our biggest problem at the moment. Get some from Romania. A uh, benefit of puppeting Romania. Um, so if you go here, you can integrate the war economies rather than doing German war economy. Um, but a benefit of doing this is you get Romania as a puppet and you get more oil from them. So when you're thinking of which side to do, if you you may want to grab this side. Um, we're, we're good enough where we're at now, but uh, it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, yeah. And our, we could get a little bit further down in our oil tech. This is kind of what we need to do right now. Let's maybe get some oil tech. Because um, oil is hurting us. We need a little bit more. All right. And I'll support attack that. Close this pocket off. And it look, looks like we've gotten to... Uh, we've, we've crossed, so... That's good. Um, let's take a look at casualties. Yeah, we've done nearly 2 million. There, just ticked over to 2 million, and we've currently lost 160. So, like I said, we were going to lose a lot more to the Soviets, but it's not too bad. All right. Just 
thinking of opportunities here. Actually, I think I can get both of these. If we do this correctly. So it's our air that's consuming quite a bit. Um, these guys are completely gone. I'm going to put these on intercept just to save a little bit of fuel. You guys can be on intercept. I don't think we're actually getting any battles down there, but yeah, merge you up and bring you to the Soviet front. Put you on there. You down here because most of the fighting's happening down in the in the Ukraine. All right. All right, that's that's helping our fuel situation a little bit. And we check in the burrs. Uh, UK invasion will probably uh, bounce there. Med's looking not completely secure, but, you know, not too bad. Up here. Actually, this tank would be good right here. I'm going to see if I can snake down and maybe get to Stalino and uh, cir encircle this. He's 10, we can have a general. And I'll get you to go here. Um, just not gonna let him org. Go like this, move it into the pockets. Closing off the pockets. I'm just looking for little wee encirclement opportunities. I'm going to come down here. I think this Gossa will probably have it. Sure is. So I think we can probably hit here. Maybe get behind it. Get that one. Snaking. Doing a dangerous snake arena. <laughs> okay. I do want to uh, sort of wait a little bit, take down their air so I don't have to have so much up, but yeah, it's not too bad. Let's do that. Do do do. do. Okay. So we'll be filling the gaps. Get you over here. And then that'll finish that, so that. There. Get you down here. Alright. Another little pocket. Uh, don't attack that. See if I can cross here. You can take that. Okay, so we should have that naval invasion ready in a day. Yep. Alright, so we'll see if we can uh, coordinate attack with uh, the north there. 
And we know that there's no Navy, no Soviet Navy, uh, because we checked here, there's no no uh, enemy supremacy, so I'm not even going to um, convoy escort them. Uh, partially, partly because I don't have the fuel for it, but... Partly because they're just not going to get attacked, so... What are you doing? All right, there's ten here. Let's just get them to battle plan. Attack there. I think we get a little bit of air down here too. Oh, hello. They're attacking down. All right. Just keep the encirclements. All right, Kurtzk is not doing so hot. So let's see if we can support that. Maybe look it off that tile. Uh, okay, let's, let's do this here. Widen it up. See how they land. I'm gonna wait till they they start landing, and then I'll attack that. Perfect. Close the pockets. So you're coming in behind. Close the pockets. Close the pockets. Why won't someone close the pockets? How are we doing for time? 75 days. Can we get to Stalingrad in 75 days? Moscow? Yeah, definitely. Leningrad? Certainly. Stalingrad? Mm, don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one. Right, where are these guys? You coming off? Yeah, this should be a bit easier to take now. I have no way to pin you, do I? No, I do. So what I did there was uh, there was a unit moving in behind this guy who clearly would have been encircled. So I grabbed a unit from here, this one, and, and, and did a pinning attack. So you just got to watch like where the units are moving. Um, you'll kind of learn these like as you get going, like as you play the game, you'll just kind of see what happen, like when it's going to happen. Okay, so we did land. Oh, we completely landed. They didn't actually have anything on the on on on, on Leningrad. Usually they do. So this is actually a bit of a boon for us. So we can do this. Uh, we can pin this here. We can stop that attack, and then when that is, we'll cut this off, and then that'll all be encircled up there. We can help this naval invasion with our tank, uh, and then all this here is cut off. So hooray! Okay. Keep pushing a little bit. Keep the pressure on. There's Leningrad, of course. Um, we're almost at the point now we, where we can start battle planning. Uh, like you see, it's pretty much one on every tile, and they can't cover every tile. So um, when we get to that point, yeah, they've got down to 120 units. Um, they sort of can't stop us. So... It'll, it'll, it'll begin to go a little bit quicker. Uh, it then becomes a race for, for winter and then supply, uh, which we need to start upgrading. So I actually haven't been upgrading this. So let's do the bottlenecks here. Um, and then 
bottlenecks here. Oops. Hitting the wrong button. And I just want to make sure we're upgrading a couple airports and we won't have range of it uh, soon enough. Okay. Yeah, so we're up to 100 civs. Uh, or sorry, uh, 200 civilian factories, 220 mills. Um, yeah. It's looking good, looking good. So we're done our air doctrine, done our land doctrine. Um, I did say that I was going to upgrade the tanks. So now that we're like level three, we've got nothing to spend our XP on. I'm going to upgrade our, our, our guns this and then try to keep our reliability up so maybe we'll do we, we don't actually need to upgrade the armor too much something like this all right so what, what's the reliability plus no we don't need plus just want to meet want to keep the reliability uh above 80 oh yeah that's that's fine it's like at 90 something now yeah that'll be good make them a little bit quicker they're 12 kilometers an hour that's crazy all right that looks good to me. A Panther A. Type tank three. Do something there. Circlements after encirclements. Alright, so we want to do that. That. You can actually stay on that tile, just so you don't. Do a little bit of pushing to see if we can get that. All right. Yeah. You notice now that I'm I'm starting to like attack with more than just the tanks. Uh, that's because I can, I can actually do damage to them. my infantry like they're there's only one per tile so it's kind of good yeah, how are you doing here down here this is a supply hub i'm gonna connect because of uh i i, I prefer the, the the supply not to go through the the black sea so do that there all right, domestic stuff. We we need the oil. Dex. Yeah. We're gonna get the new guns in a minute. All right. Can't go on, bud. Okay. This one. Um, just just to talk a little bit about the synthetic oil stuff, like don't upgrade the rubber in that if you're not building uh, re refineries. I have a bunch. We have quite a few actually. Uh, it's not going to tell you, but we we've got quite a few in um, in our Intel ledger here. Details. Can we see it? Don't know if we can get that map mode, but there is a map mode that shows us our resources. Let's see. resources all right so see where we're building rubber uh we have a uh, synthetic uh factories there so they'll also make oil um but you don't need to upgrade that that side of the tree if uh if you're not making them obviously okay i'm thinking it might be time I'm thinking it might be time and then we'll just kind of micro the tanks around just to get the, the situations but we're gonna see a lot more casualties come up but this will keep them on on their 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 back feet but uh yeah here we go all right Okay. All right. 
I'm gonna strategically redeploy them so they're they're going. Ten widths are going for the ten units here. This. See if we can snake towards Stalingrad. What do you got up here? Same idea. Okay. We could you could get nukes if you want. Uh, just gonna grab this. Something to do. <laughs> Getting kind of towards the end there, but Just manually trying to exploit the gaps. Yeah, we're running out of fuel again. Uh, this is quite unfortunate. Uh, what I will do, though, is I know that some of these planes can come down. Oh, the Navy's up. What's going on? Hmm. So, uh, for a little bit, what I can do is I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the the bigger ones here in the Navy from raiding. Let's see if we can get this number down a little bit. Um, there is oil down here in Baku, so we can snake for this. This might be something to go for. I mean, it definitely is something to go for. So, yeah. In fact, I will take the, the Leningrad army, and I'll send them all the way down south. Um, yeah. Alright, how are we doing for time? 43 days. Uh, was sort of worried about this. Um, I think our last supply hub's like Rostov until we get to here. So we need to essentially break this line. And then snake to Stalingrad. Stalingrad. So. Just have to keep this on. Get this next supply hub. This one here is one. This is very important. And Moscow is going to be one. 
a snake to it, please? <laughs> So when this converts, we'll get a bit of supply in this area. Same with this one here. We're just kind of racing faster than we can recover it. That's why we're getting a lot of low supply here. I'm hoping that I can keep punching through. Uh, if we can keep the, the org, their org down, it, we'll be able to keep up the momentum. I'm really worried about the, the river here. Yeah, so see this one actually has some org. That's very unfortunate. Okay, first there, then there, please. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we've seen this convert. Upgrade the bottlenecks. And completely out of fuel. Okay. I will trade with Venezuela just for a bit. Um, this is not going to be good for us. Uh, just because I need that tree, uh, that oil. And, yeah, okay, so the Navy's mostly down, air's mount down. Surely. Assumption is way high. Okay. All right. So our our tanks basically need to refuel. We're not gonna be able to do anything for the next little bit. Oh, and we're out of supply. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> the, the the push has changed how um, we use equipment. I'm going to go down by 5, go to 10, set priority few. Yeah, that might be a DLC thing. You're right. We can check it. It is... It's in here, recruit and deploy, I think, right? Or maybe it's under logistics. No, it's actually here. So let's set fuel priority high. Very low for Navy. Um, but yeah, I just, just need fuel. That's very unfortunate. Oh. I see if we can kind of snake to it, but yeah. So we did get the we did get the supply up here. That's quite good. So we can kind of come around Stalingrad from this side as well. Yeah, so they're just, once they're full, once the army, the tanks are full again, um, I'll start gaining. Um, full. Yeah, it's saying full. That's strange. The reason why it's, it's stuck on zero is that the uh, there's a capacity of each, uh, each tank, so it's just sort of waiting here. I can. That this river is probably the hardest bit, or more most difficult bit. Let's 
it's always the worst part of uh, any Soviet campaign. That's why we did all of those encirclements early. That's interesting. Like nothing's <laughs> nothing standing up there. Please get across this river. Ah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yep, it sure is. <laughs> Just being a very... We've got general winter setting in here, so... All right, maintenance companies. You know what would be really good? Logi companies. Uh, the next Logi company level. Uh, I will... Yeah, we are getting our fuel stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's get that. So this gives us negative five uh, fuel use on our tanks that we have the Logi company on. Uh, yeah. We're just filling up our air, or our, our fuel. Uh, Want to make sure we've got green air for this. I'll put 300 up. So we got that. Okay. You guys should be down. We don't need you anymore here. We don't need you here. We get two up for Central Russia. these guys forward just being a little bit more careful with how we spend our fuel okay so we're just outside of Stalingrad now I might be able to take it actually Looks like that's going to be in reinforced there. Can I pin? Nope. Let's attack with you. So I'm going to grab, put this guy on, on his own general. I'm going to force attack him from reinforcing that. Yeah. Doesn't, maybe we can get behind it. Moscow should be coming up here. Now let's wait. Yep. Yeah, we are we are importing uh, pretty much from anyone we can. Um, sort at this moment. Yeah, and ideally you don't want to trade across the sea. See, so in fact, if I look at my trade now, yeah, so we could get raided, which is not super great. And look, look at how low that is, just because our efficiency is so low. Yeah. Um, Albania, I will take your four. <laughs> yeah, it's it's almost not worth trading overseas without escorts. And I don't have diplomacy to to influence trade. Here we go. So it's just just gonna have to keep checking to see if we can change the deals every now and then. I wish they I wish like the battle lines uh, exploited tiles better. They tend not to do that, which I don't like. You know. No. Like, you know, it's, this guy's moving off here, right? So if I move one into here, into here, and then once he gets off, I, I'll be able to just walk into this tile. You know. It just doesn't really think like that.
Yeah, okay. Alright, we're gonna try again, but with a little bit of cast now. Almost there. If I wasn't actually bothered with this date, I would have tried to. I would have tried to move a little bit slower and and take out more. But I, I, you know, we just didn't get enough certain circlements earlier on. So that's all. All right, so we got two directions now. Let's get this tank in. Busy. Open up more combat width. All right, see, sometimes they like to shuffle off. Um, so we might be able to get the down to two here. Come on, get off. Okay. So it's a big a bit of a mess because we have no supply at this point. You could wait a little bit and like build a, a thing. Sometimes you can snake to the the, the city beforehand. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can knock them out. Let's keep an eye on this one here. Make sure they're not reinforcing. And then we're coming up on Moscow too, aren't we? So. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to miss it by uh, a week for both these, but we will get them. I'm keeping an eye on making sure they're not reinforcing. I'm going to keep going to that battle. There we go. Alright, so that's Stalingrad. And I think we're going to have Moscow here in a second. <laughs> yeah, no collab governments for DLC, uh, no DLCs, so it is a bit unfortunate, which is why you want to you want to make sure you're taking out a lot of their army. If we had pushed them back and they had their their full three four hundred units, this would be nearly impossible. So, okay, attacking around them. Just gonna encircle, try to envelop Moscow. I'm not gonna get it in the three days, unfortunate, but. You can come. I'm gonna miss it by like five days. That's very unfortunate. One day, aw. All right, so it was, it was December 30, is what we needed to get to get that bonus. And watch this, 31st, wow, one day away. <laughs> we missed it by one day. Oh, oh well. All right, so we're in a pretty good spot. Um, I'm going to rush down and get the fuel, and then we're going to just try to poke around and uh, um, make little, little encirclements here and there. This would be a good spot to stop and wait for spring, so I might actually do that a little bit. Kind of reorg, and we'll just kind of do things manually. Um, but yeah. Um, in terms of objectives, we need to get to the Urals. We need to get here. Just just past them. So it's going to be well into the summer next year. Not a problem, though, for us. We've got the army. We outnumber them. We've got the air. We just need a little bit of oil, a little bit of time. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Maybe I can knock that guy off. What do we need to do? It's weak. It's weak. What do we need to do? 
I want to secure Moscow a little bit. Alright, I'm hoping these guys will shuffle up a little bit. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay, so we do have some, some things we can unlock. Let's get recovery. Um, for the infantry, the infantry uh, division attack is a very good one when we are attacking like this. Um, on on the field marshal tactics, so if you see here, uh, um, these are your general traits, and then these are field marshal uh, traits. So like probably in, in descending order of uh, best, like logistics wizard is the best one. Uh, pretty much over, like, um, yeah, at all. Between these two, I would get thorough planning planner if you if you ever grab these. Uh, fast planners is okay, but uh, getting 10% uh, extra planning is 20% extra stats. So that's actually really good. Um, between these two, um, aggressive assault's good because if, you, if you're attacking, unless you're doing some sort of defense thing that's special. Um, offensive doctrine is great. This this orlock, or, or gloss while moving is very helpful, especially like when we were just doing that last campaign thing. Max entrenchments, uh, super, super good if you're like doing a defensive hold. Um, cause like, yeah, 30%, that, that really adds up. Um, and then reinforce rate, this one's good to get early in the game, but by the time we're at like 41, where you've got a lot of the tech, uh, I've got radio, like it's not crazy good. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt, but like this is a, you know, early in the game will like mean the difference between reinforcing within like 12 hours. And then now it's like, maybe it'll give you an extra hour to get into battle. And then recovery rate, 10%. That's always good. Um, I realized we didn't talk about the, the traits a little bit uh, last time. Um, terrain traits uh, are good. Uh, getting two terrain traits will let you get adaptable. And adaptable helps with those uh, division debuffs. Yeah, tank. I'll show you the tank template. This is our tank template. Uh, keep in mind that we do not have the DLC. So uh, the stats are pretty good, but... Uh, I know we could have gotten a lot high, higher soft attack with no step back. Um, and I think we probably have enough Dow for the last mech, do we? We do. All right. Well, yeah, that's uh, the final form. Uh, yeah, I love the breakthrough numbers. Very good. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. All right, so we're going to be trying to keep things a little bit uh, conservative until the spring and we're to, you know, fix our supply situation. And yeah, we're almost done here. It's going to be, how are we doing for time? It's 3.30, probably another 15, 20 minutes. And we will be good. Oh, let's go snake, snake, snake. Let me get them snakes. Stuff the south. Yeah, we've hit the end of our, our supply. So we're gonna have situations like this. You should not be moving. If you're ever encircled, don't don't move, don't attack something. Try to keep it there. And another option you can do is you can take the ones that are encircled, put them on their own general, and last stand them when they run at org. That'll keep them like alive a little bit longer, so. Okay. We are lacking a little bit of equipment, aren't we? Ooh, a ton of artillery. Alright, I'm gonna double check we don't have any of the the helmets. No. Okay. So I should be able to delete these. So 12 units are using them somewhere. Our garrisons. Yeah, so we just need to we need to refill fill our our equipment a little bit. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that no one's on on this division. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah, lo logistics are very important. Yeah, we're we're leaking because we're attacking. And we like yeah. So it looks like we can always go up a little bit. Uh let's go to 30. We're done our mech, so we can we will need to replace with our tanks, but we can go down a little bit. Um our ratio is eleven to one, so that's still good. And then cast, we will need to cast. We're good for our fighters too. I can go down on that. So, and then new guns. New guns are probably the next important thing that we need. So we're just gonna go down a little bit. Very good for AA. Yep. Okay. And I'll trade the one tungsten. All right. How long is that gonna take to replace? Eighty days, and then seventy days. Okay, we're good. See if we can get across these rivers, make sure we're not seeing too much. Making pockets, closing pockets. It's the name of the game. Um, making pockets, closing pockets. Okay. Uh, Atlantic Wall. At this point, like, we don't have a whole lot to do in terms of our focuses. Oh. That was a free tile I could have grabbed if I had noticed it a little bit earlier. Alright, and Buddy's out safe. So like I said, it is it is better to like manually do this because <laughs> what is that? Okay. Where's our last five? Oh, we have n down here. Okay. Four, four, four. Four to here. I'll just stop these. And then four coming down. Okay, perfect. I'm not doing so hot for our supply here. I may pull back a little bit. Gorky's the next one. Oh, here we go. We've got some gaps on the line. I'm going to see if I can do something about this. I'm going to try to grab these two supply ups. This will be very important for this region. Yeah. There's a hole in the front light in the north. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the one in the north. They're not they're not doing anything with it. In Kazan. Da, 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 da. Yeah, here. Some here. I don't think they're actually gonna be pushing us too much. Uh, and units are shuffling around to to fill those gaps, so you know. Yeah, like I said, I'm not too worried about it. I keep I keep, <laughs> I keep sending guys in here to get encircled. <laughs> okay, 
Ah, buddy. Reinforced. So that's Northern France. There's a D-Day. Okay. <laughs> I think they're just going to bounce. But yeah, I'm quite happy that they're, they are doing that. <laughs> or at least trying. Uh, so getting oil tech. Uh, we could get the a little ahead of time. If we get the better mech, that might be something to grab. Uh, getting logies. We need to... Reduce our supply requirements somehow. Okay. All right, they don't really have much air left. Down to 500 or so. Get that cast up. And we need to get airports closer. I was hoping this was a little bit of a gap, but it's not going to be one. Yorosol will be a thing to push. We we will have an advantage in the spring. Like uh, right now, like I can show you how like the weather uh, uh, thing like uh, affects things. So we're getting negative forty four from just the weather uh, in terms of attack. So it does help the defender a little bit. Uh, yeah, deep snow, extremely cold. Everything it slows you down and. You have a lot less attack, so. Yeah, let's see if we can just make some minor things in the winter. I am happy that we did get Stalingrad, though, and Moscow, where we had to stop. Oh, they're trying again. I don't think they'll they'll make it across. All right, we're just gonna keep going for this. <clears throat> yep. Well, it might be good to put a couple tanks in reserve. What are they missing? Support equipment. Yeah. Here. So I'm, I'm trying to get everything to reinforcements. I'm putting low priority for these ones. So I don't need them to fill up their, their artillery. Yeah, it looks like they will probably land there. <clears throat> I'm also, I don't have air on the Benelux, do I? There you go. All right, so a month and a half, snow should melt. We'll have artillery. We'll be able to go again. Yeah. And we're gonna get start getting some, some better supply uh, here. So like 30 now, 20, 20. Let's keep upgrading them. Fifteen. So 
doing one at a time is a little bit quicker, but. Um, another thing we could do, I don't know, it might be a little bit late now, but we could go to Total Mob. This will reduce our consumer goods down to 10% uh, default. Uh, but when you do that, make sure you go to uh, grab work, women in the workforce. So if you notice there, <clears throat> this here does negative 3% recruitable population. So you either need to go up a constriction law or to get this here. And so this will negate that you lose five stability, but it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, and then our consumer goods now are a little bit lower. All right, weather's starting to improve. Down here, it's no longer in the negatives for some of these spots. Um, yeah, right across. America is in the war yet. Yeah. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. So of course the cheesy way is to knock out the UK early and take out the, the US very early. That's generally what you want to do. Um, but I wanted to show everyone a historical run, what you might want to do. If you get to this point, you don't quite have it. Uh, I think we're going to need a, a supply hub down here. And if we don't get one here, maybe here. I guess this is a way to show you guys. Um, they take they take a long time to build. They're very expensive. So you see here, it's going to be July. So it's just going to be a backup if I can't push with no supply. But we'll have a little bit of supply there. I'm just connecting this railroad. Okay. So see here, we're starting to fix our supply situation. Not as much red. Southern France, interesting. Oh, and they are gonna land. Well, this might be a good opportunity to show you this. Let's just get three of them out. Uh, yeah, we, we'll win when we get the supply back up, for sure. Okay, I can't even get my tanks down there. <laughs> They're already too quick. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about D-Day. You garrison, like, just like what, how I showed you guys, you probably won't have that many issues with, uh, with them invading. If you don't do it, it'll be bad. Okay. So, snow is starting to melt. We're down to 20 days. We've nearly got our construction. Yeah, there we go. So, what is this line? Yeah, that one there. So this is now 29, 30, 30, 30. Here's the bottleneck. So if you look, supply in Kiev is 35, and then that one's 30. So if we fix that, Kiev will be 35, 30, probably all the way up to here. Uh, and then this is being constructed. Okay. 
it. Okay. I'll let the, I'll let them give us this this equipment. Uh, they'll cancel it once we sort it, but no access. Okay. Uh, I'm also just gonna do the local supply on the front uh, with the infrastructure. So this just might help out a little bit. But I think now we can look for encirclement opportunities. These. Um, so it's a little bit red here. Maybe I won't use that. Do it here. And I think there's a supply up here. here. So we're going to push to your 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 cell. Your slav. We're gonna go back down to two speed. And yeah, you see how quick, how quick that is? Look, already getting some zero comments. We've got that one there. This isn't super great. That'll do it. Okay. Um, getting down here for the extra port might be worth. Also push this way. It seems. Okay. So Pensa's the su supply hub for this area. Let's see if I can circle this. All right, so we got that supply hub. Pushing across the, across the river is good. Just so that we're not stuck there. the pockets make pockets close the pockets make pockets close pockets feeling a little bit slow make sure we've got our cast up Naked pockets, closing pockets. Please take a supply hub.
Okay, so once that converts, we'll have supply in this region. That'll be a pocket there. A lot more red... Red supply icons. <laughs> Not too much we can do. Now this is a supply hub here. Uh, so this is going to be worth... This would be worth coming down this side. Let's see if we can cross here. They're, they're not uh, nearly close enough for capitulation. We have to, without collaboration governance, we have to get to here. So uh, it's, it's about cutting off their army and encircling them. We're, we're not done yet, unfortunately. It's way ahead of time. Let's do this. Try to pin this side, and then we're gonna race down, uh, down the the rail line. Okay, make pockets, close pockets. sides here. I will take the supply hub. Just want to make sure that people are coming in behind them, or divisions are coming in behind them. Alright, and then we've got these big gaps we can just snake. Unfortunately, I have nothing to pin that there. Uh, are we going to beat him? Three hours? Yeah, we're going to beat him. Uh, okay, okay. so we're... I'll, I'll show it to you in a, <laughs> in a minute when we're racing. Okay. I, I had something to show you guys there, but unfortunately... went off. Okay. So you see here it says we'll arrive in the next three days. I hovered over my unit and seen that I had three hours and that they had a day and a half. That's how I knew I was going to beat them into that tile. Yeah.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so these guys are all shuffling around. So this is technically cut off from the rest of the Soviet Union. So it's they're going to have supply problems uh, more than we are. And then this area here will have pretty good supply once this converts. We might be able to make like a little rush push. So I'm starting to risk do risky moves like this where we're snaking. But if I can cut off, yeah, like I did here, I cut off the rail line. We'll start to struggle for supply. And then I can stand on that line. Oh yeah, there's four days here. Let's go this way. This part of the country is about to come like untenable for them. <laughs> like they can't, they can't hold it. Okay. I swear I had Gorky. Yeah, so now they're 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 falling back out of this pocket or so I'm just gonna try to rush it. Here, we don't need these tanks down there. I'll just move these over here. Um yeah. Oops. I gotta stop changing these orders. <laughs> quicker now because I'm sure you guys uh, kind of know what's going on at this point. This is the supply hub yet. Okay, got another invasion in the Benelux. Uh, stop training. Just in case they land, we'll have some, some units there to counter. Um, kind of at this point, we don't have a whole lot to of use for the tanks. Uh, 
numbers because they, they don't really have the greatest supply. So what I'll actually do is these four here. I know I can I have supply up here. Yeah. We'll just help use them to help close pockets. They're not taking anything. <laughs> okay, we're just cleaning up the south here. Uh, Baku is the oil. Let's get that. Airvan. Nice. There we go. Getting a lot more oil. <laughs> So I won't actually have supply there for the tanks on that spot. Okay. Well, I think it might be time again to do our assault across the line. Uh, so chat's asking, what's my favorite country to play? Uh, I really, I really enjoyed this playing as the Soviets, actually. It's just my personal preference. They're just big and, you know, got a lot of options. Uh, especially with the, with the, if you have the no step, no step back DLC. Uh, they're very fun to, to play. Okay, just a few more pockets here to close off. Not let me select that. Okay. All right. Yeah, just. I like to play the I like to play the Soviets in multiplayer, so like their historical path is a good one. Um, but there's a there's a Trotsky S path that lets you do World Conquest in like about a year, uh, and I really like doing that. It's a lot of fun for me. All right, so they have Kazan here. Let's see if we can snake this across the river. Somehow snake to these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very difficult. Sometimes it's random. Seeing a total collapse of the line for the Soviets. Try to get up and around Kazan.
All right. Well, they're starting to get down there. They just need another 9%. Those 9% are in these cities here. Um, we could push up here. Oh, actually, they haven't taken any of the north. I assume Finland would grab that, but... Maybe we can help them out a little bit. Yeah, there are a few points like this one here. Membrisk is a good one, and Archangel is too. So... May need to get those ones in the north as well. Yeah, you're just knocking out any supply beyond this point here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the pocket strategy is is good for any playthrough, uh, but it's particularly important for for the Germans going into the Soviet Union. Just because, um, like like I said, you get to this point here, and if we were pushing into like ten ten divisions on a uh, tile, and we only have like one or two to attack with, we just wouldn't be able to get through it. And you would you'd stall, and uh, it happens to a lot of players, especially their first couple times playing uh, against the Soviets. They can't just seem to cap them. There's a mechanic with uh, La Resistance that, like, uh, if you get... You can add a collaboration government for, like, civilian factories and, and guns. Like, you, you can set it up. And basically, you can get... If you can get to, like, Stalingrad, they'll, they'll capitulate. But if you don't do it, you have to get to the Urals, which, uh, yeah. Don't want to say it's quite, like, pay to win, but that is one feature that I I really really think you need. <laughs> okay. So let's make up. It's, um, yeah. Then again, it was sort of like this when the game first came out. This is how you had to, had to do it. It was always a nightmare. How are you not taking Kazan yet? I need this. I need this city because it's a supply hub. All right. What do we got? U boat effort. Four. <laughs> or it pay to win with, yeah, with without it, it's a uh, lose. There are a couple of features like um. There's this one here. I, I didn't actually show it, but you can boost popularity uh, just with political power. And if you get it to a certain amount, you can stage a coup. And um, this coup is actually it's it's a it's really easy mechanic to use, and it's I don't know. I feel it's a little cheesy because you you essentially force them into a civil war, and um, yeah, you can do it to any country, like as any country. So if you're even if you're a minor power. Um, the boost coup thing uh, is pretty OP, and you lose that if you get the DLC. Like it, it's replaced with like a more complicated system. Yeah. So I don't know. There's a little. Some things are, are better. Some things are worse. And by worse, I mean just like slightly harder for the the player. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna just need to rush to get across these. Some of them have to be supply hubs, so I just need to... Yeah, so we got Ufa here. Oof. We pin you. You cross there. I'll have you snake to Chelyabinsk. Which I think... It's funny, I think at the time they called this Tanglegrad. I don't know if that was like a nickname or something. The city here. Where they built all the tanks. Um, another thing I could show you is we're at the point now where instead of microwing our air, you might want to assign them so you can s select a, 
an air wing and just right click on here, right click here, and these will follow the army. So they'll kind of automatically set up the airports to what they need. Um, it's not like it's not hyper efficient, but it is a uh, very good if you don't want to think about them. And they'll just kind of follow the army. So I'm going to do that. Make sure they're. And then if we look here, we'd see them. Oh, we might actually not have air range, do we? Yeah, let's get let's get some airports. They should they should follow them if they have a, an airport. Yeah, big tractor factory. Is that what it is? Probably what they they build now. Yeah. Talk about plowshares, huh? Right, in the last encryption. Um, there are a few cities over here that have victory points. Tushkent. Um, it's this one here, Alamata. It's not. It's not a bad thing to get. They will be. I did call it. I did say that we need to get way past the URLs. No, we still don't have Kazan. Please. <laughs> this has been our real Stalagrad. <laughs> there we go. All right. That'll give us some supply in the region. So we're just completely out facing it. Okay, so the, the finish is start now starting to push a little bit. Just gonna try to snake for Archangel. Okay. They've gotta be close. Let's get these last cities. No resistance at this point. Really should just give up. Just gonna... Go guys, go. I really wish they would have taken this. <laughs> Come on, Finland. <laughs> Do I have it? Yeah, there's... All right, well, if I gotta go to Vladivostok, I will go to Vladivostok. <clears throat> You get, a, you get a little bit of war score per tile you take. And then, of course, the, the cities themselves have victory points. We're almost there. It's very close. Um, if their stability is high, it's harder for them to cap. Also, like the the Soviets are just—it's so big. Russia's so big that it uh, it takes forever. But there we go. <clears throat> they will eventually cap. Uh, you seen how hard it got at the middle there? Um, so, doing that lattice strategy where you pocket and close, pocket and close, and get most of their army, like seventy-five percent of it, done before you start doing a massive push. When you get to the winter, the first winter, just stop. 
stop, you know, fix all your stuff. You're going to have uh, some sort of deficits like I did. You'll have, you know, it might be your tanks, it might be your guns, you know, uh, just keep going. And then when spring hits again, you just open up again with the pack pocket strategy. <clears throat> um, because we, we, we have all the points, like I can, I can just, I can annex them all. It does not matter. Um, that's probably what we're going to do here. If you guys have any questions uh, about the game, you can leave a comment. I might see it. If not, you can check out our Discord. Uh, we have, we'll have a link in the description for the Discord. People on that Discord are happy to help new players. I've got a Hearts of Iron 4 tutorial channel, which you're watching right now. Um, so I've got lots of little videos. If you just want to subscribe to my channel, check it out. Uh, look at the, the list. If there's anything you're kind of curious about how the game works, I've just got small little one minute type videos where I explain that one specific thing. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks everyone for coming out and watching too. Uh, just figured I'd record a VOD for, for the new, the new players, uh, you know, and, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do one again with all the DLCs and we can talk about all the, the different mechanics, but certainly not today. Um, I'm going to be heading off, but again, thanks for, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.